Hello, and welcome to Neon Lights Roleplay. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and all those in between and beyond that binary of the internet. More specifically, welcome to In His Divine Name, our only war actual play live stream. I am Young Foxy. I'll be your host for the duration of the stream. But rather than focusing on me, let's instead focus on these five devoted souls, glorious soldiers in his most glorious uh, Imperial Guard, here to give their lives and offer their service one last time as we delve into our finale. So please, as I call you out, tell the people who you are, who you're playing today, and we'll move our way right into our last session. Heck, whenever you're ready, start with you. Oh, I'm first. All right. Hey, <laughs> guys. It's me, Sir Hecklewhite. You know, uh, I'll be playing Tame and Feldust for the last episode along with her wonderful technician, Denim. Who she's somehow kept this entire time. That's it. <laughs> that, that's fair. Just rub it in some more. Yeah, yeah, shots fired. <laughs> Ouch! Yikes. Yeah. Well, I mean, not to not to make it awkward or anything, yeah, but I... uh, Turk, you're next. So whenever you're ready, love. Uh, hello, hello everyone. I am Turk or Turk Accented. Uh, I'll be playing Kieran Lopata, your uh, breach or weapons specialist today. I make things go boom. Uh, both uh, soft and hard targets, so uh, we'll keep that rolling today. Uh, make sure no one else dies to uh, indirect artillery fire. <laughs> that has uh, been a rather common occurrence, actually. It's been a thing that's yeah. been happening, you know. <laughs> oh boy, it's like World War One here. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's about it for me. I'm excited to uh, blow things up. I'm very excited to and watch you blow not things up. die. Hopefully, right. That's the idea. <laughs> Up next, as I prep the ears already. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't us this time. It wasn't you all this time, that's true. <laughs> Meg, whenever you're ready, take it away, darling. Hello, everybody. I am Meg Mysteria, and I will be playing Lenora Valsir, our resident sanctioned psyker, uh, who follows Turk with the uh, explosions are our love language. <laughs> I thought just fire in general was your love language. Look. Fire, explosions, it's a I spectrum. Might be, what, I might what be a pyrokinetic. <laughs> I what might be a fire? pyrokinetic, but... but... an explosion persevering? But an uh, explosion person, exactly. <laughs> I have an explosion <laughs> personality. <laughs> God damn it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it one. before this devolves even further. Let's throw it over the purple. Yeah, go for it, perps. <laughs> Hello, I'm Purple Phil. I'll be playing uh, Marius Fercioli, the commander, and, uh, and his two comrades, uh, Remus and uh, Vin Petroli. Um, oh, man. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm excited to see where this goes. I don't have too much else. I'll pass it on over to Shockpoint. Last but not yes, least. I am Shockpoint Ferrier. I am reprising my role as Ziggurat86, also known as Ziggy. And who is the resident tech priest in charge of maintaining gear and probably being the closest thing to a moral compass this group has outside the light of the emperor, which is weird, all things considered. Imagine the light of the emperor being a moral compass. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing this universe real wrong, boss. <laughs> in either case, I'm very glad to have these five players with me. And if you haven't heard already, I'm Young Foxy, also known as Big Foxy, also known as your only and favorite Fox. And uh, I'll be playing everyone that's not these five people or their compatriots. Our last session saw these adventurers delving their way into the underhive of Hive Nexus here on Eastia Prime. Their mission, reach the reactor district and reactivate a subsystem that would power on air defenses to repel the worst of the high fleet invasion 
and keep the Tyranids at bay as they beset the planet more and more. Our resident tech priest was, of course, given subsequent orders to activate a separate subsystem. And after battling through hordes of the chitinous creatures, surviving near perilous falls, and an encounter with the Inheritor himself, again, now warped and changed by foul alien gene seed. It was revealed, after a tense fight with a warrior, they came out on top of, that that separate subsystem to be activated by Ziggy was an exterminatus protocol to turn on the orbital laser on the moon and target the planet itself. With the timer now ticking, and the only way off planet appearing to be a lone shuttle at the Inheritor's Palace on the other side of the hive. Our soldiers have choices to make, and they better make them fast. But before we plant them back into the fire, let's step back for a second. A few weeks ago, you all took part in what most are calling the second siege of the hive. Although, where the first one saw you as the aggressors, pushing in with tank fire and cover barrage and street to street fighting to siege level by level of this endlessly sprawling city. The second siege saw you all defending it against the foul Xenos threat of the Tyranids. And defend it you did at a cost. In the aftermath, you earned several things. And while you were quickly ushered, uh, ushered off to your next mission, I'd like to take a moment to place you back there real quick to allow you all something quick. It's about a week after that mission happened. You've all been settling in, recovering from your wounds, mourning the loss of your comrades, and adjusting to new norms perhaps recovering from your first time seeing those disgusting alien creatures. But that reverie is disturbed, and you're rather rapidly brought to the command wing. Your commander's in front of you, Commander Seston, along with two small uh, containers on his desk. He looks at you all, leaning on his one good arm, Apologies for disturbing your rest, but there was no better time to get this all done. You all have seen a great deal. So I felt it best that I make sure you understand that we recognize that. Sacrifice is not an easy thing to ask, and we ask it of every single guardsman. We all give something. He looks to Lenora and looks over at Kiernan. Some of us give everything in the end. What I will offer you here is not much in the way of grievance or condolence. And I won't apologize for that. But it is recognition. Wrong song, sorry. <clears throat> he opens the chest and in that first chest, you can see just a row of small symbols, different shapes and sizes. He holds up the first one. It is a row, it's a bar almost, of a crimson band with three almost sanguine gems in the middle and the skull resting at the top, gold lining either side. He holds it up. The medallion crimson. Awarded for valor in battle and fighting through grievous injury. He looks directly at you, Lenora, and says, You took an autocannon around from a tank and still fought through it. Not many soldiers can say that. You've earned this. And holds it out to you. Uh, with little more than a solemn nod, she steps forward and accepts the medallion before 
stepping back with the others. You should write this down for yourself for squad bonus because I'm not going to keep track of it my, uh, on my end. Uh, yeah. Your benefit for this is, well, this is actually the only one that only benefits you. The rest of these all benefit the squad. But for your benefit for this, while wearing this medallion, the first time you take damage in a combat encounter, you can reduce that damage by one to a minimum of zero. So keep that in mind as I move forward. He next holds up a symbol that has a sort of, it's, a, it's another skull symbol. It's, a, it's the Imperium of Man. Skulls are everywhere, obviously. He holds up this symbol, but this skull is emblazoned with a pair of almost sword-like wings, one on either side. It's not a pin meant for a lapel, but for a shoulder. <clears throat> holds it out towards the commander. The winged skull for excellence in command. You held down an entire garrison on that western wall for a while, Sergeant. It was impressive work. You burned this. Sorry. Step forward takes up. Squad benefit for you all plus ten to all command tests. Up next. Holds one up. And this is actually one so he holds up uh this is the last one he holds up in this chest. He says Of all the soldiers I thought I'd be giving this award to, can't say I thought it'd be you. But, for the combined coordination of an artillery barrage and an interesting, if not clever, usage of combined explosives to tandem barrage an enemy position and ensure a retreat position for yourself and other troops, the Macarian Cross, given for not just virtue, but quick thinking on the battlefield. Lapata, this is yours. You're muted, by the way, boss. <laughs> He's gonna dust himself off, kind of clearing the spot. <laughs> I it would note that it, I was not the one to call in the artillery strike. To share between myself and and uh, Zigara eighty-six. Sorry. Understandable. Unfortunately, the command structure doesn't allow me to give out awards to Mechanicum soldiers. They operate kind of like Danzios here. I did put in a great re recommendation, and I'm certain that upon your return to the Forge World, you'll be commended. But I can't offer you anything more than my thanks for your good work. The thought is appreciated, nonetheless. Because I got skinned to pin to. That's what it came down to. <laughs> they have magnet versions. Well, I'm sure you'll get plenty of those for the moment. He's going to stand at attention and allow him to be. And the last thing, and this I can offer you as a member operating under the squad for a long period of time, Ziggurat. He opens that second chest, and rather than individual, there are 10, actually 12, medals, all looking the same. Its <clears throat> design is comes in two. The first is the hanging pin which has the Aquila at the top, that two-headed bird with wings spread on either side, which you would know as the, as the symbol of the Imperium. Under it says, Ave Imperator, Gloria and Excelsis Terra, on one line. And under that, Eastia Prime. And then hanging below that is a glistening pendant, a skull with a wreath kind of crown. And under it, a scroll that reads Mantune 115. For pristine and unquestionable honor above the call of duty, I award this squadron the Honorifica Imperialis, the highest individual honor I can give any single squad of soldiers. You all have been pivotal to this war effort. I thank you for your service. You all should note, uh, 
as a squad benefit. Oh, also, I didn't mention. Uh, Kiernan, for your Macarian Quas across squad benefit, all of you get plus 10 to all logic or scholar scholarly uh, lore tactical imperialis tests made in the heat of battle. And for this last one, the Honorifica Imperialis squad bonus plus 10 to all fear tests. Okay. Yeah. Kind of just steps back and says, If there's anything you once said, you can say it now. I'm your only witness, but I'm honored to hear it. Uh, I don't have anything to anybody else. <laughs> It has been a distinct honor and privilege to serve under you, sir. I know this has gone a bit sideways, but wouldn't wouldn't be going through it with anyone else. This this war has been many things complex beyond the reasoning of even one trained like I have. I will be straight with you all. I don't know everything that's happening on this war front. There are things moving in places beyond. It feels like we're all part of some large machine, grinding forward inexorably. But, as this machine of war trudges forward, chews up soldiers and spits out bodies, the honor of serving has been mine. And well, yeah, so good. Yeah, well, let's go finish the fight, huh? Mm. So as that scene settles, <clears throat> and you find yourselves reflecting on the war, the ones you've lost, and the trials you've undergone to get here. This memory, this moment you perhaps almost forgot as you got ushered into your last mission, almost fades away as you find yourselves back in the Asti of Prime. We'll open up and we'll begin with Hmm, let's see. Who do we start off with showing for this first scene? We'll start with Zig. Zig, we open on the scene of you all, not too far from that wrecked, com from, from the chimera you all took to get here. It's unfortunately been wrecked. You're not sure what happened to it in the time you were down there, but it's a slag heap now. Zig, you're currently digging through that, trying to make the most of what you can for supplies or anything useful. Charge packs, any weapons or armor or anything that like that. It's a bit of a frantic scene, and you're moving a bit fast, so much so that you're almost straining your optical processors to process as much information or disturb everything you can as fast as possible. Next to you is Reisman. And, sorry, not Reisman, because they're dead. <clears throat> uh, next to you is Remus. And next to them is Patroli, who were given orders to cover you. Both of them look a bit tense, though. Looking back at you and kind of yelling out, Hurry it up, coghead! We cut over to Lenora, who is both hands out, ignited in flame, concentrating hard as that flame slowly grows harder and harder. She's clearly focusing her psychic might towards something. And it's an effort. Perhaps more than she expected? We cut next to Taman. You all encountered some injured soldiers as you were on your way out, and Taman kind of forced a few of you to at least help move them to a safer location to at least give them basic triage. Wouldn't have taken no for an answer. You all hauled them in to this, bur this burned-out building you're currently uh, not too far from. So Taman, you and Benin are 
kneel down, well, hands deep in soldier guts, trying to make them at least passable. It's common work for you, and even in the heat of the moment, you're doing what you can. Not too far from you is Kiernan. You got Bessie up high. She is whining aggressive, like she is just aching to be fired. Charged up and ready to let off just that superheated new sun explosion. As you're crouched in a window, aimed up, focused and ready. And the last person we'll cut to is the sergeant. Who is expertly returning to form as he has just cut a hormigant clean in half. You are all in the middle of a firefight. The moment you came out of the underhive, the Tyrannus started swarming you. Not to get us on a, off and off foot, but uh, roll initiative, babes. Let me clear the thing. Hold up. Wait. Clear the thing. Oh, where? It's cleared. Click on your token. Everyone select them. Yeah. <laughs> I had to zoom way out. Oh my god, I can actually click on my token this time. I, I, this I fixed it, guys. Growth. This is what we call growth. I, I, I fixed it. We appreciate I did all my you best. do for us. I did my mm -hmm. best, okay? It wasn't perfect, but I did my best. <laughs> we appreciate all you do for us. Thanks, darlings. I appreciate you all. Alright, let me give stream a good view, because I'm currently stream managing too. So give me a second while I... Get them a nice proper view of you all being badasses and getting ready to shoot some bugs and stuff. Got some music happening in the background. Everything's setting up. You feeling good? You feeling great, kiddos? Hang on. You know what? Hold up. We got music. Going. There's not enough ambiance going on here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We need more ambiance. Give me a second. Let's get some explosions going. Let's get some. Let's get some lasers going. Let's get some wind. Let's get some of that going. Let's get some growling tyranids. Yeah! Hell yeah! Intense. <laughs> yeah, we at- yeah! Yeah, motherfuckers, let's go! We vibing. Let's kill some motherfuckers! Alright, I gotta put animals in initiative now. I'm gonna <laughs> do that, and then we'll party down. Sorry, just keeping the vibes right, guys. That's all I'm doing, you know? Alright, uh, that's not the- that block for the Hormagon. That's the cool picture I pulled up for them. Sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> Fixing it now. We haven't played in a month, guys. I'm getting back in the swing of things. Alright, Hormagon initiative. Rolled. Oof. Good. And. Lastly. Uh, let's roll one for these Termagants over here. Termagants! Sorry, naming conventions. All right, sort that by descending order. Who's up first? Looks like our bug friends are up first. All uh -oh. right. Oh, fun. The Gants, the ones in the back looking for the shooty shoestings. They make their way around, start scrambling around looking for cover. You see one dip around this corner from over here. Another comes up here, just sliding around looking for the best kind of cover they can find. And just so I can give stream a good view of what, uh, of what, what they're facing up. There's a lot of bugs. And uh, speaking of bugs, let's do some shooting, shall we, friends? How are we feeling about uh, getting shot at? Everybody cool with that? No, not great. Right, um, <laughs> less than ideal, but you know what? We're here. <laughs> I... we, we, we don't have our uh, Camelon cloaks in, do we? Uh, nope, you're still in your, uh, in your, car, in your uh, carapace armor. You'll thank me later, trust me. Okay. Uh, one second, I'm just adjusting the... Uh, the um, distance on the, uh, on the on the graph. Sorry, my fault. Okay, cool. So, now, how far can these things shoot? Uh, they can shoot, but none of them can shoot far enough right now. So, a whole none of them are gonna shoot. Cool. They're gonna run. They can shoot. They can shoot. <laughs> She's fucking right. That meme will never die. Okay. It will never die. All right. As they finish their running. Tarjan, you're up. 
Okay. Um. Let's do the thing I do. What? What? Do the, the thing, thing, thing do. we be doing? <laughs> the thing we be doing. Um, I'm going to make a command check to uh, yell everyone to um. Get them, I guess. Is what get them. I'm going to do the get them call, uh, which means I make a command check, and if I succeed, everyone who uses a uh, buddy will do extra damage. Do the thing. I succeed. Oh, you Ooh. super succeed. Yeah. Um, I'm very good at commanding now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, having done that, uh, that's a free action. Sure I is. will. Um, it's more fucking free. Yeah, uh, I will go ahead and, uh, use my, uh, rifle. Let me check some distances, and I'll try and do a shot on the closest little guy. Cause... Go ahead and draw a line, if you can. Yeah, yeah. So just a string can see it. Sweet. Six. Thanks, also boss. Also get the measure in there, so that, that's, uh, just over close. So it's normal. Shoot right? him up. And I'll do something out of half him. And I get a plus five because my buddy's gonna shoot with me. Cool, let me know what you roll. Uh I rolled a five, so I I, I hit uh, uh twice. Yeah, you sure do. And what's the uh yeah, you sure hit. Uh I don't hit very hard though. <laughs> what's the damage? Uh seven and four. Seven and four is a grand total of eleven. Yeah. More than enough. Uh, what's the pen? What's the pen on you guys' guns? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, that's not enough. Yep. You, this guy uh, right in front of you, you just fucking, you just, you, you, you expertly just have that nice volley of fire coming out, and you just like with a with a clean burst oh. of blast gun fire. It's more damage than that. I forgot to add. I get because my buddy shot with me. It's that's true. It's like four more damage for each shot. So that's probably enough for real. <laughs> Yeah, so you just you put you put a nice just like burst of last gun fire right through that this Hormagon, and he goes kaput. Very dead. Anything else for you, Sergeant? Nope. Uh that's everything. Taman, it's on you. Uh-huh, okay. I think I'm just gonna stay where I am. This 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 seems like a good spot for now. But this guy is now in my range, so I'm gonna take a shot at him. You're within He's range of my divination. Be rooting, be tooting, and by God, I be shooting. You be uh, shoot. I, <laughs> what? Be shooting, and by God, be shooting. <laughs> what? <laughs> let, let, let bygones be bygones shooting. Yeah. <laughs> please, please shoot the fucking tear it. Also, stop drawing lines! <laughs> Overlapping okay. lines of fire. I think we do. We're gonna send me auto because why the fuck not? And then my friend is gonna help me out, so I get another five. You sure do. Damn. Oh, okay. We're rolling good okay. today, friends. Okay, Let's give me damage. Go. All right. I mean, Dang we're it. literally using las guns. So I mean, it would look like the. And yeah, it would actually just look like streaks of laser fire. Beep 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 beep. Oh, yeah, that helps you out a lot. Beautiful. Yeah. You get four more on each of those. So. Uh-huh. It's more than enough. Yeah, with your with you and Ben in together, again, like he, he's like right beside you. Whoa. He crouches down right right as you as you come up, you let off a burst of last gun fire together, and you just eviscerate this Hormagon. It just comes apart in a in a, in a, in a hive of fire. It's very dead. Zigzarino, do the damn thing. Alright, so Ziggy is going to hard target this one a bit farther out, but he does not like the fact that it, they, they have range capabilities. Give me that link, give me that, that 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 line one more time so I can so stream can see it. Alright, uh right here. Bam, awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm also going semi-auto, half in, and taking my buddies in with this. So let's see how that goes out. Hit it! Ah, uh, only one hit, uh, but... Damage! Plus another four, because you're, you're a friend. So that's 15. Mm -hmm. They have armor of... Not enough to save them! Yep. So, yeah, same deal. Uh, you... you again, you're, you're on your own. You're, you're not even, like... You're almost, like... You come up, and you're up... You kind of want to start coordinating your your aiming, like, algorithms with the other's fire, so you can start, make, like, put, putting out more effective fire. And you... Mm -hmm. Again, you focus in on the term again, because it's, like, they're, they're, they're ranged. And you just, again, that one kind of comes up and sees you, and you see it raises flesh borer, 
you just put a hole straight through the gun and then straight through like its head twice. Very dead. Lenora. Hello. Do the damn thing. I'm doing the damn thing. Hold on, I have to draw a line. <laughs> draw a box here. We got boxes. <laughs> we got boxes. Or boxes? lines, really. It's it's more of a line, but listen, you know. Listen. We got a uh, line. We got a line. Uh, let me actually roll to see if this line goes through. <laughs> Here's hoping. So setting up a uh, fire shield for me and the homies. All my homies love fire shield. Got oh. for me and the homies. So if they come through that, that's four damage. Hey, if baby. they attack us through the shield. When you get time, yeah. roll me a psychic phenomena if you please. Oh shit. <laughs> you doubles. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold uh -oh. on. So you guys need to roll. Need to roll on the perils of the warp table. Oh, Turning no. out strong. Um, Turning out strong. <laughs> hang on, I have the book up. I'll get the table up right now. Oh no! Uh, oh yeah, this is how, very bad actually. How bad is this? No! Uh, uh, this is actually. Yeah, this is kind of fucked actually. Fate point. No! <laughs> fate point. You can fate point. point. You can fate point. Okay. To be fair, it's have... okay. Wait, hold on. To be fair, it's not. Horrible yet. You still have to roll yeah. on the perils table. You have to roll one more D100. It could be really fucking bad if you roll really bad here. So I w roll one more D100. One more D100. I believe in me. And I will read you the results. That was a 27. Oh, actually, that's more than not bad ones, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Yeah, okay, here you go. Uh, well, um, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Locks it's in. not ideal. <laughs> the power cages the Psyker's mind in the, in the ethereal prison. Tormented by visions of the warp, the Psyker falls into a catatonic state. Each round thereafter, you must spend a full action to make a difficult willpower test. On a success, you are freed and restored to your body, haunted by your experiences, but otherwise unharmed. So, Meg, or Meg, <laughs> Lenora, <laughs> You again, you you push like you you draw in like that that inner flame of yours and you will forward this wall of fire. It sprouts to life directly in front of your comrades. I think they're used to seeing this by now. But this you, and you've been feeling this sort of shadow hanging over your warp presence for a while now. As you open yourself up to the warp, very briefly, you feel teeth and ever maw. A thousand impossibilities wide swallows you whole and you just lose yourself in that blackness and you all watch as Lenora just collapses to the ground F in the chat <laughs> F F's in the chat <laughs> hey the fire shields up though the fire shield is up but so that's next turn I'll have to roll the to get back up yes Yes, okay. For fire. All right, uh, time for the Hormagons to go. Uh, they're all gonna run real fast. Okay. Yep, okay, so the closest ones can get, fun fact, I'm using actual old school rules for how you move if you're playing 40K. If you're moving a block of units in Warhammer 40K, rather than measuring each individual model, measure the closest ones, measure the farthest ones, Put the rest in the middle. Yeah. Makes sense. So that's what I'm doing. I measure the closest two. I measure the farthest two. I put the rest somewhere in the middle. So yeah, you all just see a bunch of hormigons. Again, just this tide of, of, of flesh barreling its way towards you. Totally unconcerned about the losses it's taken so far. Sir Lopata, turn is yours. All right. Um, oh, good. They came closer. That makes this next part easier. Uh, going to step up there. <clears throat> uh, as stepping up. Uh, oh, yeah. close. I have to figure out the cone here because I will be using the. Uh, I will be pulling out the flamer. Do the thing. Not the heavy flame, unfortunately, but... No, You're not getting the heavy flame, brother? Just the flamer? Just the flamer, brother. Brother, get the flamer. 
Uh, let's try and toast some. Yeah, that's a little bit successful. Oh, oh, the, yeah, that, yep. Yeah. You can go ahead and roll damage if you want. I would love to. Well. I don't know why it I says that's not good. Yeah, I think mm. it's, it's, oh, it's an energy weapon. It can overheat. Oh, it's, no. Uh, no, wait. No, 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 no. That's not right. I'm wrong. You're fine. Ignore that entirely. And does it, it plasma gun can overheat. Yeah, it's okay, have, so. Uh, this is just a flame weapon. All right, 16, uh, 10, 2. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Kiernan, how do you feel about the smell of burnt tear in it? Uh, smells like victory. Oh, well, uh. Let me tell you. You walked down to the old Nid barbecue. It got you a three for one special. Mmm. Mmm. Roasty toasty hormigons, just lining up for you, lining up for you. Just again, there's already fire going through. You were like, you know, I think there needs to be more fire here. I feel like, and so you added to the fire. Need all the fire. <laughs> uh oh god, what they don't they don't use uh, what what, what is the what is the flamer technically use? Promethium. Promethium. Yeah, there you go. Warhammer nerds know. in the chat. Love the, love the smell of Prometheum in the morning. <laughs> Smells like victory. Going home. Alright. Uh, let me get back to the actual roll 20. God, I have to do this amazing one time. Uh, it's time for the Termagants to go. Termagants! Sorry, I did it again. Brother. Brother, I am flaming here. Brother, I am flaming here. <laughs> Brother, I am pinned here. Ah, I'll be better. Brain. I'll be better, guys. I'm sorry. Never. Don't ever change. This guy's gonna run over here. He'll also do the run and go there. Step brother. He will not run. Do any of them have range? Let's see. Huh? Uh, you ran, so no. Huh? Oh. Just barely. Although it's long range. Mm. Yep. All right, Kiernan. Get ready to get shot at by a whole one termagant at long <laughs> range. I hope I, I, I hope you're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, get hit ready. With, here, it, with your best shot. Here, here it comes. Are you ready? Are you sure you're um, ready? Okay, standard, standard shot. No aim with a flesh borer at long range. Here it goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you know? Oh, I, I rolled myself. Sorry, hold up. It missed though. It needed a it needed a thirty three. I rolled a forty six. It missed. So yeah, uh, that that's it. Uh, so uh, the slight bits of of chitinous fire start picking up as you notice, like just the barest bits of those like fleshy bolts start, start skirting by you, Karen. But you're unfazed. Fuck them. Who cares? Sergeant, mm -hmm. command the troops. I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. Okay. Uh, good. Um, the uh, effect that Lenore is under, is that a fear effect? Or is it like a... Um... Not a fear effect, know. no. Not a fear effect? Okay. Is it... Okay, I don't think I can do this thing. Okay, it's over. Um, okay. Uh, we'll just... Uh... Second verse, same as the first. I'll uh, attempt to uh, let everyone get them. Get them! Oh my get god! Em. I'm gonna get them. Yeah, um, you're you're feeling inspired today. Yeah. Ultimate, get them. Yo, BT Dubs, out of character check in. Anybody besides me hype right now? I'm like, I'm really feeling like mm. hyped right now. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm really, really into it right now. All right, tap back in. Go ahead, fucking do this, do the shit, Sarge. Blow them up. E um, let me get you a line. Uh, oh shit, we're lining up. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Can I see this guy? Probably yes, not. you can. Can I? He's uh, been I'm darting in and out. He, he will have cover from you, but you, you can see him, yeah. That's fine. I'll shoot him. Shoot him. Uh, he's close. Yep. Um, that's fine. Uh,. Yeah, same thing. Nope, I missed. Tragic. 
Yeah, you start uh, putting some fire out to the side, and as you, as you put up the fire, you see it like skirt off into the shadows, hiss at you a little bit, like, kind of like that, like that sound you just heard in Serious Game. Uh -huh. Anything else for you, Sarjo? No, I think that's all I got. Taman. Uh -huh. We turn okay. to you. It's back to me. Okay, so let's do some measuring again. I double check everything. You know, make sense. Listen, measuring is good so the stream can see, alright? Yeah. Measure exactly. twice, fire once. <laughs> exactly, exactly, you get it. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go for this guy over here at the end and just, just shoot again. Put the guns on him. Nah, I'm gonna just do the same kind of shot with my friend so put, I get another five. Put the guns um, on him. Oh my god, go. oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, it's still good. All All right. Right. Ma yeah, go ahead, roll, roll All damage right. twice. Shit, alright! <laughs> yeah, right. with plus four to each one of those. Yeah, again, you and Benin are like, yeah, just like perfectly in sync we right now. It. Like, we he is right next to you, today. just like, I got you, madam, don't worry. Just eat, throwing that fire down, putting that, putting up a hail of bullets, this Hormagoth charging at you. You start putting a shot at it, you put one like through its arm. It loses the arm. It's like, kind of, like kind of tries to keep running forward. As it comes up, Benin puts one through the head. It falls over. It's dead. It looks real good. You know what I say? Uh, preventative medicine is the best kind. That's <laughs> the preventative medicine. That's it. A laser blast through the fucking head. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, anything else for you, love? That's it. Zig Whenever you're ready, boss. Take it away. All right. <laughs> So, I believe I have a clear line of sight on this one, don't clear I? Clear as fuck. Yeah, so I'm just going to eliminate that potential issue right now. Half aim, semi-auto. And... Mm, he's, too, he's, too, he's, he's too good. He's too evasive. This one Tyranid right here, he's too slippy. He's the David Blaine of Tyranids. <laughs> Lenora. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's make that check. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. God damn it. Wake up out of your sleep. Wake up <laughs> out of your sleep. Sounds like F that's not chat. happening. As in the chat, Lenora's still out of it. The good news is that keeping the fire shield up is a free action, so sure I mean, <laughs> it's good. there. It just remains up. <laughs> Which is good, because here come the Hormagons. Good, good. My buddy is over here shooting. He doing his thing. He's doing the thing. Let me see how far you guys can get. Uh, give me a I second. Mean, I mean, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Veracholi, oh. what did you use your heroic inspiration for again? What? What did you use your heroic inspiration for? I, to terrify? I, I, I didn't. I couldn't because it wasn't. Oh. I, I, I tried to read it because I wanted to read it on my thing and then actually put it in the chat. Um, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a fear effect, so it didn't actually do anything. Uh, but you could inspire, uh, plus down the next skill or characteristic yeah. test. Yes, I could have. I thought that only worked for the. Uh, maybe I misread it. <laughs> next time. Get him next time. We'll get him next time, bosses. Don't worry. Alright, so all those Hormagons will take the fire shield damage from walking through the fire shield. Except for the, except for Jeff. Jeff's too slow. <laughs> Jeff, just, Jeff was Jeff isn't fast enough. Jeff will have to wait. F for Jeff. <laughs> That's, uh, and then, okay, so yeah. Um, what's the, how much damage did it take? Is it three? Uh, four. Oh well, yeah. That's not great, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you start seeing these horror gods again, just completely uncaring of whatever the hell is happening, just burst through the wall of fire. And they look just, like, debilitated as they come out, but they are still, like, leaping forward at you. And, hey, I get to actually use Hormagons in melee now. I haven't done that for the entirety of this fucking campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to be actually afraid of Hormagons. Uh-oh. Because, where is it? Uh, no. Yeah, because they are going to all-out attack. Uh-oh. So the first one will target. I need to roll die real quick because there's two people in front of me. Uh, this guy right here 
can reach either of the two of you. So he's going to target, let's see, highs, lows. Lows goes to the sergeant. Nice. Uh, here comes the hit. I'd like to parry. You <laughs> can parry. If you don't mind, I need to see if... Oh, I missed. Uh -oh. oh, I have some very uh -oh. poor news for you, my love. Oh, no. It's fine. So... Hormagoths have swift attack. Yeah, you gotta declare that because it's a minus penalty. That's true. You're right. So I'll just see you out of for the future. So just take damage from here on here on out. But just be aware of that going forward. Uh, so here comes damage. Uh, I did do an all-out attack though, so that's gonna happen now. Take that damage. That's nothing. What does it go to? Uh, goes leg? to your legs. No, your, no, actually, goes to your, le your left arm. Excuse arm. me. Okay. This one. So yeah, you as you're trying to like duel it out with this thing as it's coming through you, it just like <laughs> slides directly under one of your swipes of your power uh, of, of your of your power sword and just comes up with this talon and it's like slices directly into your armor. The second one that can reach is only in range of Kiernan, so guess who's getting hit by it? Uh, another Termagant. <laughs> oh my god, dice. you lucky fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kiernan, all I can imagine is this thing just comes leaping out of the fire shield at you, and you just duck. You're just mm -hmm. like, oh fuck! It just, it just sails over your head. Roll. Does it attack the other Hermagon? <laughs> no, it just misses, but... Oh. That'd be funny as fuck, though. That would be hilarious. Uh, I... Yeah, that's it for these these things turns, I guess. Um, moving on. Hey, Kiernan, it's your turn. It is. Um, oh gosh, of course, remind me of uh, opportunity attacks here, but I will weather the storm because I they're gonna get killed by fucking Pythagoras here. Uh, <laughs> fucking Pythagoras. <laughs> Don't talk till Tuesday. <laughs> What's the ah the isosceles triangle? What's the triangular <laughs> angle here? As I'm about to make their days real fucking bad. Yeah, uh, sure looks like it. Uh, we heard you like fire. <laughs> eh, so we got you some fire with your fire. Uh, this is short range standard. Uh, and the roll damn. the hit again. Yeah, it's gonna hit just a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when is Kira going to open up his KFT? Here in black. Here in black. Here in right. Here in. Ah ah ah! The greatest hunger is gonna be the one in your belly once you get done. The delay before the laugh was my favorite thing. Fuck, I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna GM now, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, these Tyranids die. Okay, move on anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking. Hey, you ate my wall. <laughs> it's still there. Shut up. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking. There, there's your wall. Enjoy. Leave me alone. <laughs> Fucking. That's the right color. Here it is, right here. Okay. Purple. Fuck. Purple. Okay. Here comes some termagants. They're gonna move into position, hopefully. As a reminder, it's anything that attacks through the wall. It doesn't have to be going through. The oh, wall. I know. These termagants. Uh, well, at least the one that shot is actually already kind of hurt. Lit. <laughs> and he'll run to get there. So he won't shoot. The rest will probably get shots off. Let's start off with the close guy. Because I'm pretty sure he might be in close range. Oh, hell. Well, actually, just just, just, just in range. He's got target selection. Uh, let's go with the tech priest. I don't like him right now. <laughs> and by, and by, by me, I mean the Tyranid. I, I, don't, I, I, like, I like you a lot. I mean, the Tyranid doesn't like you very much. I like you a lot. This, this guy tried to shoot me. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, two of them tried to do that. But one of them has other problems already. Uh, so, standard range, uh, he, 
already took a move action, so he won't take an aim at all. Can't stand me auto because it's a flesh borer. So here comes that thing. He missed. What a surprise. All right, let's go with the rest. So I think most of the rest are, in, are within long range. Let me check. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, nope. So just the front row. So let's do some. All right, so I can hit three targets because one can hit Lenora. All right, so one can hit three of you, two can hit two of you. So the one that can hit three of you, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's gonna hit Lenora. The one that can hit the only two of you, one, two, three, four. All right. So that one's gonna go for the sergeant. And the other one that can only hit two of you, that one goes for Kiernan. Okay, so each of you is gonna take one shot from a Tyranid. So let's go, starting off with, it's also gonna be long range. Lenora, here comes yours. Hello. It missed. Kiernan. <laughs> it missed. Sergeant. It missed. They're getting lower. <laughs> Accuracy <laughs> by a volume of fire. They're bracketing us, clearly. just keep shooting. <laughs> well, uh, they all mind. The action might look. That's their turn. Sergeant, you're up. They all take damage from that too, right? Yep. The okay. They don't look uh, very good. Okay. Um. Sorry, I got a choice. Uh, yeah, I will use my uh one action, half action to. Do my ins inspiration thing that uh, Turk reminded me that I can't actually use because really? I thought it was just fear stuff. So I'm gonna give a Turk inspiration to uh, Lenora so she can get a plus ten on her. Next. All right, I need to know this for flavor. How do you inspire the unconscious Lenora? <laughs> yell at her. <laughs> one or more of his followers. Oh. Just... <laughs> just, I, I yell really loud. Yeah, I just yell really loud. What, it works. What, what, do you, what do you yell? Uh, probably just gonna... Uh, Lenora, get back up. We need you. We need some fire. Oh, no. It reaches through the warp. Yep. Hey, stop napping, Lenora. We're shooting things. Yeah. All right, that's... Um, Bikers lead the way. So does that have to be a... Uh... Uh, I actually, uh, it doesn't necessarily work. Um, it works. It works. Um, uh, <laughs> you get a few plus ten on that. Super um, yep. I still have my, I'm still going to do my, uh, get them as well. Do it. So I can do some more damage. Got it. Oh, it works. Uh, then um, I'm going to shoot, but I don't have aim this time. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to shoot the same guy in the corner. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Just a standard range. Oh, <laughs> he's so evasive. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, Taman, on you. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have a good like shot on these guys yet in the building, and I don't think I want to try to go in there by myself. So I'm just gonna wait on that one. Um, and I'm gonna try to shoot at this guy instead. Do over here, so we're gonna thing. see what happens. Not Jeff! Buddy again. Yes, Jeff. Oh, no. See? You can't shoot. Oh, oh no! Uh -oh. oh no! Yeah, that's bad. Wait, isn't that the combine? <laughs> yeah. That's, isn't that reliable? So yeah. it doesn't, it's only on a hundreds. Uh huh. So yeah, oh, okay. you're, you're fine. You are just, just barely I just fail, fine. But I don't like. Yeah. Fucking yeah. die. Okay. You are just barely fine. So you, yeah, you start you start keeping that volume of fire up. It's like okay, you and Ben are like so in sync. You start trailing fire onto this one, and you don't even recognize how hot your last gun's getting. You're just like, oh, oof, oof. Had to let it cool off for a, for a bit, which is why you don't one. hit it. But you're you're cool. You don't hurt yourself. Bye. You're good. Okay. The That's zig. Good. Alright, so I've just been shot at by a flesh borer. Zig's pissed. He's gonna let the last rifle fall to the strap. And he's charging you with the chainsaw. Do the thing. We chain swording. 
Uh, actually, let me correct that. You started with the Eviscerator. You did Eviscerate then? Or not. He's too evasive! You can't hit him! So yeah, Zig, you come in just like with this Eviscerator, just like ready for like, just like side arc, take this thing in half. And again, just whoop, right under you. You just chainsword eat into the wall. Just start eating into the wall with the chain, with the chainsaw. Oh, you waste of motive force. That's rude. Lenora. Alright, let's make that Wake goal. the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. Wake up! Wake up! God damn it! <laughs> oh no! Yo, it's not going great for you right I now. I can use I I can use a fate point to reroll, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. Is it using it or burning it? Using, not burning. Using it. Okay. You, you also had the plus ten for me too. If you hadn't added that on. As yeah, well. that. It did make a difference this way, but when you reroll, you still get the plus ten. Yep. Let's let's give it a go. Go for it. Ah! Oh! Where am I, baby? Lenora, <laughs> Lenora, you are lost. Your soul being almost like drifting in that vision of this maw you saw. It's almost too consuming. You feel like you'll be lost here forever. Like you'll never find your way back to your body. And in the last, in that last instance, when, before you give up in everything, a hand takes yours. A warm, familiar hand and pulls you back towards, well, the brink. You feel this light after all this darkness you've been surrounded in, this light hit your face so intensely that even you can't help but feel your soul smile just a bit. And that familiar hand lets go to let you rejoin the mortal coil. But as you go, you can just faintly hear First time I've seen you smile, I think. Let me hear it. How dare. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. <laughs> Alright, you're conscious. What do you want to do? Yeah, you all watch as Lenora just like gets up and shakes herself to consciousness. You're awake. Do your thing. Uh, so that's a full round action for me to do. So that's technically the only thing I can do outside of maintaining the shield. Wait, is it really? Yes, it is a full. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Each round, therefore, you must spend a full action to make a difficult willpower check. Yeah. Don't say that. Yep, you're right. So yeah, Lenora, you're up and at him, and you're maintaining your shield. And you're all happy to see Lenora is conscious again. The Hormagons! And by the Hormagons, I literally mean just Jeff. He's the only <laughs> one left. But Jeff's, a, but Jeff's a brave and valiant soul, goddammit! Where's Jeff going? He's going in! Taman, prepare to be Hormagonted! Uh, all out attack. Yep, here's here it is. Oh no. He hit. Uh, here <laughs> comes damage. Taman, take that much damage. Ah, uh, okay. Don't forget your armor though. You you reduced that by a certain amount. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> it's armor plus your toughness bonus. Math. And it hits to your body. Okay. Remembering how to take damage because it it's been a bit. It has been a bit. It's been a bit. Damage. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Finally, a combat y'all don't just breeze through. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, we're fine. We're okay. But ah. Uh. Ah, uh, uh, indeed. Kiernan. It's on you, sir. Is it on me? Well, nothing's on I you keep currently. That shit. But I keep that shit on me, but... I keep that motherfucking thing on me, but, you know. <laughs> I keep a lot of things on me, but... Uh... I think at the moment, we're gonna navigate and, uh... take the run action to get behind cover here. Reasonable. 
um, because I don't have the range on these guys like I would want right now. Makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a big show of uh, running around this corner. Got uh, it. And uh, that is going to be my turn, though. So I get all the associated bonuses to run, but that's it. Give me one second to see something real quick before they'll turn. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, on their turn, the Termagants start to continue their advance. As you shoot by, Kiernan, you see a couple of them immediately start cutting towards you and, and looking and heading your way. So, this batch over here, these three effectively, are entirely focused on Kiernan, and they're going to hold their action to shoot once they see him poke his head out. But the other three will shoot at the rest of you. They get one more block of movement, my fault. Ugh. All right. Let's see what they can hit. A lot of things. Nothing close range, though. Because their range sucks. All right. Uh, Sergeant, prepare to face three Hormigant shots at long range. Or, or Termagant shots at long range. First one. Second one. Third one. Ha! Ah, it happened! <laughs> Accuracy through volume of fire. <laughs> oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, it's happening. They're doing termagants are doing damage, guys. It's happening. That was a righteous fury roll too. I know, right? I forget how to do that. How do I do that again? This should just be a righteous fury button. Oh, uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, target person, yes. Uh, location, was it leg? Leg. Uh, damage type is. Fuck! I didn't write it down. Pretty sure it's energy though. Yeah. It's uh. It's energy. Really? Oh, okay. All right, so you take one extra uh, critical injury to, injury to your leg. In addition to whatever whatever other damage you take. How you looking, Sarge? You're muted. Yes. I had to do math. I literally just hit zero. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. So, so that does nothing. I don't take a bit of crit yet. It's when I go below that, right? Okay. Well, no. The the, the one was, was from Righteous Glory. So, you, so I counted the, the one put me to zero. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so you're at zero. Oh, yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah so no, no critical entry for you. You're just at zero right now. As a hail of these flesh borer bolts come out and start to pierce into your armor, you can see them starting to eat at the armor plates at at you a little bit. But uh, that's oh, you know what? These two in here didn't do anything. Um. The one right next to you, Zig, is gonna, I guess, try to slice at you with its teeth and claws. It's not mm -hmm. great at that, but it's gonna try. Yep, it's it's gonna try. Here, here it goes. Well. Yeah. Well. Well, guess what. His friend's gonna do the same thing. Well, okay, fair enough. These, th these guys suck, okay? They're not great. <laughs> Sergeant, up to you. Um, all right, I'm gonna do, do the thing. Everyone, keep getting them. <laughs> <laughs> keep getting them. Yeah, everyone gets them. Even Jeff um, then I'm going to uh, pull out my sword and I'm going to make a charge attack at the guy that's over on Taman. I'm here. I'm Jeff? Do yeah, get Jeff. Do it. Jeff's going to get. Jeff's going to get on. Do it. Um, Y'all super outnumber him, so. Yeah, we super outnumber him, which I believe means I get a plus twenty. Yeah. Yeah, that hits. 
Yeah. And he's gonna get choppy. Yeah. Happy. So we had out. our we had our barbecue tiered, now we got some tiered sushi going on. You know, we, we, we <laughs> yeah. a, a veritable buffet uh, is, is what I'm saying. Gotta uh, get some surf and turf. Yeah, as you come down just with your with your power sword, cleave it in half, and then on the backswing, just take those halves and half those. This, this you watch you watch as the homer god like cleave at you. Taman comes apart in four pieces. And the sergeant's right in front of you. Uh. Speaking of which, it's your turn. Ha, <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, I love that I'm starting all of my turns with this. like, <laughs> That's how I do. Uh, you got this. Okay, so I'm gonna move. make sure, like, I can Holy in here. Your noise gets eating your mic, eating your volume. Yeah, by the way. slowly yeah. fading oh, no. further and further <laughs> away. Oh, no. You can just slowly no. eat you. The battle, the battle of trying to stay in the frame and do everything is so hard. Don't worry, you're you fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you in frame. It's my job. I got you. Okay, okay. I just, I don't know. I'm the kind of person who's like, I have to do everything when I don't. Listen. Um, anyway. Um, I'm the one I'm doing going to right half now. action and try to shoot at at least one of the ones going on our boy. So, I guess this guy right in front of me. All right. Um, okay. And so, I mean, yeah. Half aim. We'll just do semi because that's what we've been doing. Semi. Um, it hasn't really, like, done too badly. Um... Except that one time I was, I was literally broken. Oh, yeah. oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! The one? The one? Yeah. What? Oh, I love how it has in here. How about that? How about that? <laughs> Cash me inside because I went inside the building. How about that? <laughs> Why were you putting it off? You could have done this the whole time. The damage. Listen. Go ahead and roll right. damage twice. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> With the semi, you can split damage to different targets. Yeah, if you want, you could. Right? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would semi. love to do that. Yeah, I forgot about that. With, with Ten the, to each. Yeah, with, do it. with the get em, that kills both of them, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Zig, you're like melee dueling these two Termagant, trying to get them off of you. You kind of like shove them with the Eviscerator off of them and try to like step back to create some space. All you see is like Taman and Benin just fucking assault roll in, come to a crouch and just put up a hail of fire. Eviscerate both of these things. Super duper dead. So, to add to the scene, Ziggy had raised one hand off of the eviscerator and was starting to crack with electricity and he was ready to punch one of them. He sees the move go down and he just turns over to Taman. And this is just, just. Thank you! Oh. Speaking of which, it's your turn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That thing is funny. It's cinematic, <laughs> guys. We're passing the camera around. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see, another weapon shift, uh, switching back to the rifle, I guess, I forgot how many actions that Weapon taken. change! Yep. And then, let's see, do I have, a, can I pop, yeah, I can pop a shot at that one, and that is short range, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. Looks short like, looks, looks, looks short range to me. I'm going to as soon as the half action to change weapons. And. Okay. Well, that doesn't happen. Tragic. You were a bit too busy worried about trying to fumble with getting your last gun together. You couldn't get the shot lined up properly. Mm hmm. It's alright, though. That happens. Lenora. So, Lenora's shaking off the vision of the warp and. Noting the ferociousness of the still standing Thormagant. Gants. Gants. God, Gants, whatever. No, see, no, see, as here's the thing. They're called Hormagants, but they're Termagants. Don't, don't blame ah. me. Blame Games Workshop. I have no idea why. How, how dare. Thanks, how dare. James she, Workshop. <laughs> she starts getting to her feet and. Uh, both hands raised. We're gonna do one 
spontaneous combustion of that guy and then one to that guy. Guys. So just the two different ends. I want to mark this right now. One hour, 24 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's as long as we've gone in session without Lenora lighting something on fire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, that's, yeah. that's, 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 the, that's the record rate we just hit. That's it, the benchmark. It, it took. It took long enough. Sorry. I was unconscious. That's what happens when you're unconscious for two rounds. That's what happens when you roll <laughs> Perils of the Warp. Hey, you could have had a fucking demon pop out of your head, There's but one... you didn't. I could have had a demon pop out of my head. And that's the other. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you know, yeah, just an on either side. Better than ever, baby. <laughs> one, one hand each. You turn a tiered into a crispy pile of chitin and dust. Very dead. Excellent. Do I have time to hit? Tyranid! Be warned, the moment you poke your head out, three Tyranids will shoot. Oh, sorry, two! Two Tyranids will shoot at you, because one of them's dead. Mm hmm. I'm almost. <laughs> Just wait. Um, but that would not be befitting of a soldier of the Imperium. Uh, so I will. Let me just map out before I Sundance kid this motherfucker. You got it. Um, two, three squares, so I'll be right there, and then Pythagoras is your mother. All right, okay. Well, come on out and get shot at first, and then you can blow them all up. Yeah. Here, <laughs> poking my head out. All right, let me get the range first so I can figure out if they're finally in close range. I think they might be. Uh, yes! And this standard one... Standard range? Oh yeah, right. Not yeah, not close range. Standard range. That's what I meant. Just not long range because they've been shooting at long range like this whole fucking round. There you go. So here comes two shots at regular range. First one. Second one. I hit. Damage. Oh. Wait. Well, wait. Oh okay. I'll 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 allow that. To... You you literally don't get hurt between your armor and the cover. You're <laughs> fine. You just. You're fine. Go, 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 go turn them all to paste. You're done. Go ahead, have fun. Do, 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 Get the little flesh board, like, casually just hanging onto his penny, kind of just like, shrugs, and we'll just throw me the own. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say that hits. Yeah. It's gonna be 10 for 10 and 2. Yeah, plus the four from get em. Uh Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> um, yeah, Kierden, with one more gout of Promethium, you turn the middle of the street into a brightly lit uh, pyre, and then turn the turret to ash. And Grab as... a little flesh board and yeah. add a few on the top. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they dead, friends. Oh, that's gonna be seared in my fucking nose for a while. It just be Drew. like that sometimes. It just be like we gonna we gonna mosey or we gonna we gonna get blown up with the rest of these uh, idiots. Get moving. I am in the camp of moseying. Alrighty. <clears throat> Glad to hear it. So then, if you'll allow me. You all proceed down the street relatively normally. Most of what you encounter along the road is quiet. Along the way, along with encountering Tyranids, you start encountering Separatists, too. Regular humans, for now. But, you know, mostly just uh, simple firefights, occasional ambushes and cover skirmishes, nothing you guys can't handle. Every now and then, you have a run-in with more Tyranids. But you find yourselves pushing further and further down this street. And this main causeway starts to open up more. A few hours go by of uh, travel. Also, hi, Ollie. I love you. A few hours of travel go by. This slow siege eking more and more. And as you guys travel, you look up and notice that passing through the, th the dense cloud cover are more hive ships. Even more than in the initial evasion when, you, when they first landed. The Tyranid force is back in numbers. Pods are falling all across the city. 
your radio comms that you're still tapped in on, you can hear people communicating in, scrambling to uh, send out whatever air cover or artillery support they can, tapping into whatever reinforcements they can get, or just reporting that they're dying in droves. In either case, it's not pretty. This is mostly the sound that accompanies you as you travel. This stretch of the city which you're in, you're now deep enough into the hive that you're almost away from most of the lines of fire. Save a spare shootout with a couple termagants or squashing a hormigon here or there. It's quiet for a while. You all have this patience, this peace to talk. Perhaps maybe even find a place to rest? Be warned, though. Your time is not infinite. Look to the sergeant. What do you think? How's everyone looking? I think the sergeant's the only one that took real damage. I yeah. also took oh, damage. Damon, Damon also took <laughs> damage. Damon's like, no, I'm, like, like, I'm fine. I gotta patch myself up. So, probably rest so that you guys can be treated for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, between the two of you, probably should take a, take a second. Tim, take, take some time, patch yourself up. As uh, Ziggy is going to check their progress to see how far they're away from their destination and how much time they have left. You are hard travel about I'd say straight travel probably about six-ish hours from the Inheritor's Palace. Just about. Not including any time to add in for firefights or things like that, but Adjusting your algorithms for including the possibility of fighting probably about seven and a half hours. How much time you have left? About 13. Uh, decent enough window for a rest, but he's going to survey the areas to see if he can find a land vehicle to speed this up. So, sure. We'll get to that in a second, actually. Uh, hmm. I'll, I'll accompany him if he needs uh, cover. Yeah. You two... How about that? You two... Here's what we'll do. You two decide for me what skill take, take you Vin think would you. be... Yeah, sure. You two decide what skill you think would be appropriate... You know cars. ...to... Uh, yeah, decide, decide what skill would be appropriate for finding a finding a, a, a vehicle or something that might, be help, that might be helpful to your travel. While you two are deciding on that skill, I want... The other, the rest of you who are not going to decide on the following. So for taking the rest, I'll give you two options to abstract this. You are pretty certain you can rest, get a okay-ish rest in and still make it, right? But there's two flavors of that. You can roughshod, literally patch yourselves up and keep it pushing and make it with an okay time, time window. Or you can sit Take some time, assess your wounds, clean them and treat them, which gives you more time to heal up. And I'll give you like basically, I'll, I'll bet basically, I'll basically how many medicate tests I'd, I'd let Taman take to give, give you guys HP back. You can take more of those, but in doing that, the window you guys have would become very narrow. You could still make it, and it's not like if you take the longer rest, it's suddenly like impossible or even improbable. But the window narrows significantly if you grab the longer rest so the three of you who are not traveling i want you all to decide that while the two of you who are traveling decide what skill you're going to roll to get that the reason why i'm going to ask you the, the the group of three first is because if you decide to take the longer rest it'll give them an easier time finding the uh the car because they have more time Ooh. So take time, deliberate. <laughs> that gear is turning in Purple's head. Um, yeah, you can discuss it. If you want to discuss it in character, out of character, I don't mind. It's actually perfectly fine. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Because we're, we're at a pretty good hour and a half. Small break. That would be great. Sure. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. 
A little quick little seven minute break. Let everybody reset, bathroom, drink, and we'll figure out their plan while they're away. And when we'll come back, we'll have a plan of attack and we'll move forward, all right? See y'all in a little bit, babies. Y'all know how we do this. A goodbye? Boy.
and we return. Thank you for holding. Apologies for the slightly longer than normal break. <clears throat> we return to In His Divine Name, our finale session, where we last left off, our party had just escaped a firefight with some Tyranids, came out on top and traveled for several hours, uh, making their way towards the Inheritor's Palace on the other side of the Hive to find their shuttle and their only possible way off planet before it all comes apart. Taking some time to assess the wounds and figure out what's, what, what to do, I offered my adventurers a bit of a choice on what to do. We decided that they're going to take the shorter of the two breaks and that they're going to use a certain skill to uh, search for a vehicle afterwards. So we'll begin with, uh, actually, since we decided on that, let's go ahead and start with the vehicle search. Start with that. So, uh, Zig and Kiernan and our dear Vin are out uh, making their way, looking for some, you know, making their way around looking for a, a decent a vehicle. You all decided on using your uh, common lore Imperium skill, yes? Mm hmm Why don't you go ahead and roll that for me, and we'll talk about sort of how that works. And then, so as you're, I'll describe it as you're rolling. So what they're, what you're doing, and you've all both been around or in that Hive City before. So the two of you are mostly kind of focusing on, well done, mostly focusing on trying to make your, uh, your, your way around the city and look for any nearby area that would reasonably hold a lot of vehicles, a parking facility or a station lot or something like that. You end up finding an Arbitae's impound facility not too far from where you are, actually. Uh, the gate is sealed, but nothing some superheated plasma won't immediately get rid of, so that isn't that hard to take care of, right? And you find yourselves making your way into this lot, and piercing through one at a time, and you eventually happen upon one... Uh, you do happen upon a vehicle. It's a decently sized, looks like effectively would be like some sort of civilian van or transporter. It was probably made for cargo, but it's been retrofitted, you know, had its cargo component stripped out and had a few uh, seats put in the middle, so now it just holds passengers. It was either meant for prisoners or, well, just regular passengers, who knows. But it, it comfortably seat all of you. Might, you know, share some laps if you need to, but you'll figure that out when you get there. But right now you're more worried about getting it on, I assume, right? Ah, <laughs> that was horrible. Getting the truck on. Getting the truck to mm -hmm. function. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are more concerned with starting the vehicle at That's, the moment. There we go. Let's do that. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll me a tech use? Mm -hmm. uh, both of us, uh, same time. Uh, uh, one at a time. One of I you, wanna... the other can contribute. One of us helping the other out. Yeah, one can help the other out. Alright, All right. I will I'll help. Need... Uh, yeah. so... The one that's helping, roll first. Okay. What you got for me? Mmm, I have one degree of failure. Uh, that's fine. In that case, it's just a flat roll for using. Alright. Unless we get a bonus from Ben. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a plus 10 for Ben. Alright, then it's one degree of success. Cool. So then... So then, Zig, that means you get a plus 10 on your uh, tech use roll. So go ahead. All right. Well, oh, yeah. So it's not too much trouble for you to dig around this thing for a bit, play around with the engine for a while, and see if you can speak to its machine spirit. It's addled and tired. You wager it hasn't been taken care of properly for a while. But you coax life out of it. You convince it that it can serve purposefully here. That it still has some use for the Imperium, you know, and for the Omnisaya. And so mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it coaxes itself to life. And Kieran, as you're checking out the passenger component and things, you do eventually hear just that faint, silent hum gen gently as the truck comes to life. And yeah, you all can start driving it back towards the group. Let's step back in with the group real quick, if you don't mind, before uh, you, you guys get back in. Uh, y'all stayed behind to assess your wounds and patch up. Taman, we decided you were going to get two Medicaid checks to do that, yes? Yeah. And so, you're using the first one on yourself, yeah. correct? Yep. How many, yep. How many wounds do you have, uh, have, uh, total, and how many have you taken? Five wounds. You have five left? No, five, 
I've I've taken that many. Okay. I have seven because my total is twelve. Okay, so then you are still lightly. So wait, what's your uh, your uh, strength bonus? It's a great question. Let me look at my sheet. Just the ten, <laughs> the, the tens digit of your uh, of your of your strength uh, thing. Uh, three. So then, if I'm right, give me one second to make sure I'm looking at this properly. Yes. So you are. Uh, if your damage taken is less than two times your toughness, so your toughness bonus is six. You you taken five wounds, mm -hmm. so you are still lightly damaged. So you can, uh, so you have just a flat Medicaid test with your regular bonuses you you normally have to heal yourself. You get one. All right. Yeah, you get one wound per intelligence bonus if you succeed, and then another one per degree of success. Okay. <laughs> okay. All <Got> right. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. So you can heal. What's your intelligence bonus? Uh, my intelligence bonus is four. So you can heal, uh, well, uh, you can heal 11 wounds. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. So, <laughs> right. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm doing great. I'm yep. doing great, Sam. I so, feel better now. Yeah, you take you you sit down and you get right to work on that that talon wound in you. You start immediately. It's kind of like you know, uh, you wrap it up, you take care of it, you get it you know nice and sealed off. It's not a problem. And yeah, you still have one more. How do you want to use it? I'm gonna try to hunt the sergeant down. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey, come back here. Hey, Sarge, where are you right now? Uh, I'm just probably I. I think probably did a couple things. I probably talked uh, to Lenore to her a little bit too, just because like she like knock got knocked out for so long, just to be like, "Are you doing okay?" Because that's not okay. <laughs> I mean, you can play that out if you want to. You too, feel free. So <laughs> much. No, um, no, how how are you doing? You you were uh, kind of not responsive there for a while back. I'm fine. It's just sometimes with the warp, things get a little consuming. I succumbed for a little while. Well, we're glad to have you back, but you think it's going to keep doing that? Are you in? Are you in concern for using more of the warp at this point? Concerned, not particularly. Well, we rely on your psychic powers quite a bit, so if there's, if you think there's a concern that happened again, I'd like to know so we can not maybe not rely on them as heavily as we have been. I will continue to be as much of an asset to this team as I can, Sergeant. At this point, we don't have much of a choice. It's either we lay down and die with the rest of the people on this planet, or we become deserters. True. I'm not too fond of either of those options. Um, I just would like to make sure I'm not. We're not pushing too far with using the warp. If we can maybe avoid more fights, that might be another way to ease it off. Keep our options open, know, what, know what's our risks. Of course, if we can avoid them, then of course that's the best option. But given the chaos of everything going on, and I imagine that you had actually probably interrupted her while she was on watch, between her and probably uh, Jerkins, at least them were keeping watch while you and Taman were supposed to get uh, treated. Um, not treated at this point. <laughs> Speaking of. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. And it's going to call out. And it looks like the good doctor is ready to see you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Well, sure. Anyway. I 
<laughs> sorry, say again? Uh, nothing. Sorry, I was just wrapping up the conversation for more. Um, are you ready? I can, yeah, I can, I can, well, I'm ready, but you don't seem entirely ready. We have a little bit more time. Come here. Um, uh, that's fine. It's nothing. You know, that's not how this works. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to mess with. What? Well, can I just see? Can I just see what's wrong? Uh, if it'll make it easier for you, yes. It will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'll use that one <laughs> last one recovery. Oh, uh, before that, I should check in. Uh, Sergeant, how you? You're at zero, yes. I'm at zero. So that would, oh. that would put you at heavily wounded. I'm pretty sure. Probably, I don't know. I mean, um, zero of thirteen. Let's see. Let me check. Uh, well, yeah, you haven't <laughs> taken any 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 critical wounds yet. No so critical not, wounds. So you're not yeah. so yeah, so you are heavily damaged. So that means your Medicaid test is at minus ten. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Is it gonna let me? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, should do it correctly. It did. All right. So that means you get your, uh, your. You said your intelligence mm -hmm. bonus is four mm -hmm. plus the degree of success. So that's so five. You get five wounds back, Commander. I'm. I, I'm gonna assume part of that that failure is me making a fuss over it and being like, it's not a big <laughs> issue. I'm like. Basically making it yeah. so that you, you yeah. could do more, but I'm just making it so you can. <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, men. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Fair this one, at least. Well, uh, it's right around the time you two are wrapping up that you all hear, well, the sound of an engine approaching. There's something coming. We should watch out. Any of you peek your heads out of the window, and Lenora, you're already on watch, so I assume you'd even be the first to notice. A, a civilian truck approaching. And as it gets closer, the two in the driver's uh, seat are, well, Ziggy and Kiernan. You assume Vince in the back. Vin's on top, like hanging on. <laughs> why are you. We're not even going that fast. Why are you. Why are you... Why are you doing that? Family. <laughs> it looks like we found our ride, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that should help speed things along, then. Good work. Sure. So, y'all go to head to the back of the truck. Uh, there's two seats in the front, obviously, and those are currently taken up by uh, Ziggy and Kiernan. So that leaves eight of you left. There are six seats in the back. It's not horribly uncomfortable that the two left over could just stand. It'd be a shaky ride, but they'd be okay. Or lap it up, or I don't know, sit on the floor, whatever you want. The ride's a bit cramped, though. Oh, good. Spent many a time oh. cramming ourselves in the back seat. Can I stand? <laughs> oh my god. You can Please do not kind of stand. They're like, is there like a, a railing? Like, yes. It's like it's a bus a, or it's something? A, yeah, it's, it's, it's a stand a, railing. Yeah, you can stand, it's yes. A bus or a train. Yeah. So, your travel on board this does save you a lot of time. No question. But, it, you know, so the travel, again, the ride's not super comfortable. And you're traveling, again, in relative peace. Uh, Kieran, at one point you run over a hormigant pretty cleanly, just you flatten one. Sorry, I was awake. I'm awake. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, the ride isn't too eventful. If any of you tap into comms, again, the most just position is checking in. A lot of the outer defenses have fallen already. Pieces are being moved, uh, positions abandoned, uh, fallback positions being established. Some are already considering talking about things like evac. Abandoning the city, moving back towards the main factorum ward. Others, in some more discreet channels, which you only have access to because you're a higher level 
Others are talking about the status of the evac. How much material they've gotten off planet. It's actually going pretty well. About 70% of all the material that they, that they accumulated in the war effort has been lifted off the planet already and stored on ships. The rest should be done in the next few hours. And it's as you're considering this, that just ahead of you, at least the two driving, you see this large, almost gothic looking mansion, for lack of a better word, approaching at the far end of the road you're coming down. It's several, several, several levels high. You know, an imposing figure. There's even a sort of outer stone gate around it with a sort of a or a stone wall around it with a gate in the middle. It's mostly abandoned, but you can hear, at least as you're getting closer, there's a firefight happening on the inside of the courtyard. Or at least auto guns are going off. Oh, that's interesting. Want to make it an uh, what was that about? Want to make an entrance? I'd rather avoid getting bogged down in their fight if we can avoid it, but time is of the essence. Entrance is a courtyard. We're going to have to, you know. So what's the call? Yes or no. <laughs> I hate to put this venerable machine out of its misery in such a way, but yes, go ahead and make the entrance. All right, we're driving into the firefight of the truck. Okay. <laughs> um. So, do you let your squad mates know that's the plan? Well, Everybody brace for her. <laughs> yeah, because he's just going to poke his head into the passion compartment and just come <laughs> inform them. Firefight ahead, we are approaching at speed. At combat speed. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, everyone, get ready. It's also not hard for you to know, Zig, as you're approaching this massive mansion. This is where you're headed. I would imagine that the uh, shuttle bay of the thing is below the mansion. The shuttle bay is actually at the top. It's on the it's, uh, uh, towards, it's toward the, uh, the highest level at the very very top. Sort of it's where the, an exit chimney out of the hive towards you know the upper atmosphere. Uh, so you'd have to fight your way up from the uh, from the from the ground level. All right. You drive, Kieran, and you just floor it. You bought you bash straight through the iron gate in front of you all, and then you peel into just hit a hard left as you start to skid. The truck tilts over onto its side. You all go rattling off to a side. Uh, Commander, you probably fall over to one side or another. But on its side, the truck skids and just plows through a couple of Tyranids. And you all break out relatively unharmed. No, no, nothing but maybe some minor scrapes. And you all, effectively at least, break out Right into a firefight. Roll initiative, darlings. <laughs> let's get the music on. Uh, let, let us see our tokens before we do. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, put you on the map. I meant to do that at the last second. Sorry, I need to do it one time. Kaboom! Yeah, no, you're good. Click. Click your tokens, friends. Boom. Okay. Click. Uh... <clears throat> What do we want? We want not that. Um, I'm gonna use battle sword. Uh, oh, this one. All right. Oops. Let me start some more. Some more sounds real quick. There we go. My favorite sounds. All right, we ready? 
Hell yeah. Yeah, so you all break into what looks just like a whole bunch of these veteran separatist sart soldiers. Probably some of the last ones you've seen in a long time. Perhaps maybe the last some of the last ones on the planet. In a all out firefight with well, a couple of Hormagons and some and some termagants. Now, granted, you're spiral through here. You're barrel through here with the uh, with the truck. Seems to have thinned the herd quite a fair bit, and they're now just trying to mop up. I'm gonna have them roll initiative too, so we can get this round started. Sorry for taking so long, darlings. Uh, da. Roll twenty. Roll twenty, please. All right, here we go. That. And then, uh, boop. And blap. Okay, so let's do it. That means the Hormagons go first. Oh, no. Uh, this one here, actually, here, let me click, uh, real quick. Okay. Uh, it seems like they are so single mindedly focused that despite you guys plowing into the fight with a truck, they don't give a fuck about you guys. They are just bounding up the walls towards the source of biomass they were already turning towards. The only exception to that appears to be these two in the back here who will actually turn and fight you guys. We should have just turned around and waited for them to just kill each other and then walk through. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, let Listen. me start some shooting real quick and some and some attacking. Give me a second. Uh, let's just the termagant first. Did the did the other gaunts have a different initiative roll? So nah, I, did, I just did, I just did the Tyrannids all as one all as one. Okay, so that's fine. Time. I was just curious if they were. Oh, they're, they're not. Don't worry. They're not fighting you guys yet. They're, they're just uh, fighting. They're attacking other guys first. Cool. So yeah. So. The Hormagants come up, and you guys can watch as these two Hormagants hop up here, and over this buttress wall, you see this Hormagant ta tackle this guy to the ground, and all you see is just a spray of blood just go flying up uh, ahead of you. And, well, of course, you also hear, you know. A little bit of that. <laughs> a little bit of that, you know, a little, little, little of that going on. Uh, it just kind of reminded me of the screaming goat. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> uh, this one here starts fighting that one here, and also doesn't make, but doesn't make, doesn't hurt me, hurt him too bad. Sergeant, you're up. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Actually, they have to fight still. My bad. Uh, this one they're just gonna attack Lenora. I mean, you don't have to. It'd be fine. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> no, I know. I, I, I totally don't have to, but I'm still gonna. My bad, guys. So, Lenora, be prepared for an attack. I'm preparing. It's not a all out attack, though. Just this. That's a hit. That's still a hit. Uh, Shit. That's your damage. 11 damage with a pen of three. Okay, so as a reminder. With that medal that I got, it's the first time that I take damage in an encounter, right? Reduce damage right? by one. Yeah. Reduce damage by one? Yes. Uh, to a minimum okay. of zero. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Then... So, pen three removes from the armor, right? Yeah. Yep. The leg. Just trying to make sure stream has an okay view. Hold in the middle a little bit. There we go. That's better. Make sure they can actually see what the hell's happening here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that puts me. Pat. Cool. Got it. Cool. All right. Uh, and then this other one down here will go for... Zig. It's going for you. <laughs> uh, let's do that. 
in just a moment once I re-pull up the sheet again because I'm bad. Here it comes. Whoop, okay. we missed. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's that. Sergeant, you're up. All right. All right, everyone. We're almost there. It's the last one. Let's get him. Because <laughs> it's all I get. Yeah. Him. You did the hey. get him uh, I succeed. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to hit, hit this guy right here. And we got some gang up going on. There's we a lot sure of this do. Here. Gang up, gang so up think, on him. So I think that gives me... Um, Additional 20 on a two hit. That's a hit, and I didn't do the special thing because I don't think I need to. Yeah, uh, sure don't. 21 with five pen. Yeah, you go with this one, right? Yeah, the one right next to us. Yeah, uh, the old power sword is gonna do a swoop up after it misses um, uh, Ziggy. Yeah, you like as as it leaps up to to get at Zig. Zig steps back. You step right into that gap and just cut this thing clean in half. Upper half goes sprawling at your feet tries to claw it like your your ankles for a bit but just falls over dead it's uh yeah. it's gone uh that's that's both actions yeah because i did a name with it zig all right uh so do you want to take out the comp the rifle Go for i'm it. going to clear my path so this one right here so that is basic range aim Make sure that's all the right. And all right, and let's see what happens. Two more fires. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage twice. Okay, first and second. That's enough. Let's see what they get him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you. Let off a clean burst of a last gun fire, and without too much trouble, very cleanly take rid of this uh, take rid of this turn again over here. That's all for you. Yep. This veteran here will shoot at the Hormigant. That's a hit, actually. Cool. Let me roll damage. Clears that one right up. See, so yeah, this veteran here just turns on his side, just immediately takes out that horn, just uh, puts in, uh, puts shots in the Hormigant that's currently still digging talons into his friend's corpse over there. But he goes down, he's dead. This one here uh, will step over to the right here and put some fire on this one right there. And miss. This one here will shoot at the Termagant here. And miss. <laughs> and this guy here's in melee, so he'll fight with his uh hey, another guy. He'll fight with his uh his chain sword against the Hormagant. Hormagant. Hits! Actually hits there, okay, cool. Um Damage. Rending, so with pen. Yeah, that's enough. So yeah, the guy here currently dueling with this Hormagant or Hormagant just shoves it back. Take the chainsaw and just jams it down its mouth, and then guns the ignition. You just see like the, oh. all the all the brain matter and gook go out of the back of it as it falls over dead. Taman, it's your turn. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I don't like that this guy is over here by our buddy Lenora, so I'm gonna shoot at it. Shoot it in I the head. I appreciate it. Kill him. <laughs> or not. <laughs> nope. It's okay. I tried. Uh, you, you did just get a plus two from chat. You did. Oh, I did. You did. Yeah, we yeah. also have, use that. We also have one as a group. Yes, but that's true. Hey. Oh. Haven't had anything come up as well, but I was tabbed out. Well, thank that you. That would make it success. Oh, thank you. No oh my goodness. Ollie. Um, we love you, Ollie. Okay. All my homies love Ollie. Um, okay, I'll use that then and <laughs> succeed we'll instead. Succeed. Go ahead and roll um, the Dimaggio. All right. Yeah. Uh, seven plus the four from get him with pen. You don't kill it, but it does, like, you do put some shots into it, and it starts kind of, like, backing off as you're putting shots into it. Still flailing out with his talons, but it does look like it's very, very hurt and on the edge of dying. 
so bad. Kiernan. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, hold on one second. Oh, sure thing. Oh. Okay. Um. Hey, Kiernan, roll me awareness real quick. Uh oh. One, one, one second here. I gotta go to my my computer's show. Yeah, she's chugging like a diesel engine. Uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I guess that I never put trading into. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Take plus 20. Oh, well, that uh, wouldn't have helped. That didn't Not help. gonna help. Nope. Well, don't worry about it. You yeah. on the heat of the moment. Go ahead, buddy. It's your turn. What's the heat of We're just gonna the file that under terrified. Uh, uh, so th this this little nid here looks pretty banged up. Like Menor can probably handle it, right? Yeah, probably. Cool. Uh, quick little distance right there. 70, perfect. Okay, gonna line up a shot on the uh, on, on the big nid on the on the stairs there. Do uh, it. Give me a second. With Bessie and the Emperor's Might, Light, all the goodies. Uh, sorry, I gotta make this correct half aims. Now that really is gonna hopefully matter too much, but let's make it count. With the Emperor's Guidance. Hey. Wow, okay. Pop in the head. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can roll damage if you want. Mm hmm, I'd love to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so there was a Tyranid here. Then there was a bright <laughs> flash of blue there. Mm hmm. And there's not a Tyranid there anymore. There's a, there's a slight Just smudge a of black against the staircase. <laughs> it's about it. <laughs> Where once there was Tyranid, there is now only dust. Did the first take him out? Could I split to the second? You could here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just no, I'll like step up, and as this thing's kind of pushed back lightly by Lenora, just kind of shove it into its guts really quick and aim over its shoulder and blast through it to hit the other one. Yeah, you put a big hole through this thing, and as it looks down at the hole in its own stomach. Still mindlessly swinging with his with his talons, it just grows weak and then falls over dead. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Lenora, at, at the top of your turn, you mind rolling me some awareness? Uh, I would love to. This is your last chance, by the way. <laughs> I would absolutely if you plus two, if you love to. to. Yeah, let's uh, take that plus two and see what happens with it. Good luck. I'm gonna believe. I believe. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes. The warp sees all, oh, fuckers. <laughs> because you. All right. So, <clears throat> so, Lenora, as you're preparing to refocus on new targets with that horn I got in front of you now, very dead. You look off towards, like, the far side of the wall, scanning for more targets, as you're narrowing in on, like, these guys here. When you start hearing something... Uh-oh. It's... It's real loud. It's like this... fervent stomping. Like, something very, very loud is crunching its way towards you all. It's this rumbling sound, almost. Oh, actually, sorry, I finally found the other sound I wanted for. Give me one second, sorry, hold up, stand by. There we go, hold up. They're happening, it's happening very slowly. Turn them up a little bit, there you go. Turn them up some, there you go. So yeah, you hear just these footsteps rumbling towards you all? And then you watch as the wall to your left just absolutely 
comes undone. It just completely gets blown the hell apart. And out of the debris and dust comes this happy looking chap. <laughs> who just stomps his way oh, okay. on in. I'm gonna need you all to roll fear checks, by the way. Okay. And I was wondering when that How was gonna come into anything? play. We all have a plus 10 of that, too. So, we have a plus 10. so this check's only at minus 20 rather than minus 30. Ho oh, ho. Mm, How do we do that again? Mm. You know? That's a fantastic question. I don't it's, know how uh, to do fear checks on here. It's uh, shock. Is it just shock, I think? Might be. Hold on. I'm, I'm no, looking at no, Shock is when you, fa when you fail a fear check. Either. Yeah. Is it scatter? Is that the first one? No, it's no. scatter dice is to determine where yeah. an explosion is. I think it's a uh, straight willpower test. Yeah, it's a willpower check, yeah. It's a willpower? Okay. Yeah. So it's a minus 10? It's a willpower check at minus 20 by default. But Well, it's minus 30, what? but it's plus 10 because you guys uh, have the, uh, you guys okay. have the, uh, the, uh, the, the, um, the emblem. I gotta look at my things because I think I have a thing for it too, but I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> Let's go. I'll just do it. Let's go. I don't know how to I'm do jaded as fuck. To it. Uh, my willpower, uh, you click on the, the top of it, the WP. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm not the only one. Okay. So that should be a 25, so I did fail. <laughs> oh, what should we do? I failed by two. Oh, by two. Oh, tragic. Uh, so, uh, when trying to target this thing, anyone who failed, what? you will take minus 10 to any of your uh, skill or weapon skill checks when, attack, when targeting this thing. Okay. <laughs> Except for me. Except for you, I'm Damon. As, fuck. as you all watch this giant, well, you've all already seen the Carnifex before, the living battering ram. And uh, looking at its massive structure and the two huge hanging ta talons hanging down from either of its front arms, you're kind of understanding where it got that name. Lenora, go ahead and take your turn, love. Okie dokie. I liked it better when there was a wall and several hundred feet. Oh, just yes. just so you guys can be aware of how close your your skins came to being all coming off. Wait, Lenora, wait, wait. Huh? I did, I actually have a thing. What's that? As a reaction, as part of heroic inspiration, I can just negate a fear effect from a foe. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh wow. Um. So we. I get to. I have to make a command skill check against. Uh, Opposed by the willpower of the fear creature. Uh, let's see what this thing's willpower is. I gave it a staff block. Hold tight. Yeah. We both get to add plus 10, which I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know it's what the point is. It's willpower each 45. For each level of fear they possess. Yeah. Oh, for each level of fear they oh, possess. Oh, okay. well, he has fear 3, so... Okay. That's fun. Uh, Do you have any fear-causing effects? I have no fear-causing effects. So, uh, yeah, feel... you're gonna make you're gonna make That's that okay, command man. check. Uh, it's a command check. Yeah. And I have plus ten to all command checks. Yep. So. So you're making so pretty check. good. Yep. Two degrees of success. I'm getting old, right? Uh, we do then, have a plus two if we need to, and then yeah, yeah. you gotta roll willpower, and then yep. I get the plus ten for every every, every degree of fear. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I get plus thirty. Actually. Here's the fun thing. And before I'm reading this, yeah, you both get the plus thirty. Each level of fear they possess. You'd have to have a level of fear. He has to have his own fear. Yeah, if he has uh, his own thing that causes fear, we'll give it that. But no, uh, okay. yeah, unfortunately, this no. thing's fucking terrifying. Yeah. I mean, I don't. He rolled really good, and I didn't. That's <laughs> I had a better chance. Yeah. We two were evenly matched. That's fair. But uh, <laughs> he's terrifying. So uh, okay. yeah, Lenora, it's on you, love. Uh, I have a new target, so let's uh, see if we can't do some damage to this man. Do it. God damn it. Uh, roll that phenomena. Ah! Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Haunting breeze. Haunting. 
Let me pull that up for you real quick. I got you. Hold tight. Stand by. Starts to smell like pumpkin spice. <laughs> Winds whip up around the sector for a few moments, blowing light objects around and get gutter and guttering fires within 3D 10 meters. That's it. Okay. Oh. That, that's it. That, that's it. So yeah. I mean, it's fitting. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The dramatic windstorm. Yay. Dramatic so, windstorm. It's fitting because I'm gonna roll damage here. <laughs> so that's 16. Uh, pen one. How much armor does this thing have? Or pen none, actually, huh? Pen none. Let me look at this thing's armor real quick. <laughs> uh, I might be I, I'm gonna cast again. Go ahead. You might wanna start running into the place. I mean... Maybe. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Lenora, you ignite this thing both times. You like douse flame into it. It catches on fire. It looks at you before you ignite its entire face in flame. The fire passes over it. And it's still looking at you. Oh, fuck. In mm -hmm. fact, it blinks. Not happy. <laughs> Anything else? I used both my actions, so... <laughs> Alright, hang on. I gotta give this guy a turn real quick. Give me one second. He's not actually there. Don't mind me. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I had to add him a turn. Hey, I hope we can't move that far. <laughs> nope. But it is his turn now. Fuck. Yeah, I'll put him at the bottom of the ship just to make it easy. Show up and then get a turn. <laughs> boop. 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 Yeah, it's he can't fine. get too far. He'll get there, though. Uh, That's true. And what he will do is... Yeah, he'll do the thing. Well, first off, he'll start with... Yeah, so you'll see this thing look at you all. Recognize, like, you'll kind of see even, like, it swipes out a little bit with the talon. It's kind of sees you're all a bit too far. Looks at these guys on the wall who are already putting fire into it. You'll see it look at them, start to kind of come up and spit a glob of bile directly out of its uh, mouth, which lands right there. You see these two guys go up in this torrential icker of green ooze, and then you see their skeletons slowly fade away into it. They don't even have time to scream. Oh. Run. Sergeant, you're up. Just move it. Do, 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 do. Move it or lose it, folks. <laughs> yeah, um... I got a question for you. Uh-huh. Um, so I have a couple of things combined with heroic inspiration. I wanna, I wanna try and convince these guys to help us. These guys? Yeah, these guys. Sure. Try it, try it. Threat, right? <laughs> Sure. Go so for it. Why not? <laughs> so I have a thing called Air of Authority. Uh -huh. I'm an authoritative figure. People will see me as that. It, I can command up to 100 people with around me, assuming they don't see me as hostile. Well, they haven't seen you as hostile yet, so... Okay, so I, 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 I'm willing to use my, my heroic inspiration on top of that to give them a increased check on their attacks, and then I want to do the, the get them so that they also can get extra damage, if that all makes sense. So... Go loosey-goosey with my rules, but I'm following the theme of what they do. So can I level with you to make this a little bit easier yeah. on you? Sure. Their guns can't hurt this thing. Okay. Oh. What if they did plus four damage because they try real hard? <laughs> then they could do four damage. <laughs> Actually, no. They could do one damage. Alright, I'm running. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh goodness. Uh, so if I do run, I get uh, 18. Yeah. So that eight, that's 18 squares, right? 18. That that 18 no, it's, every square is three meters. Yeah. Um, these are in feet. Why? Did I, I didn't fix it because I'm bad. Uh, Hold one, up, two, fixing it now. Three, four, Hold up, I'm fixing it now. I'm fixing Don't it now. I can, I can math. Okay, I got it. Alright, I run there. Alright. That's all I can do. <laughs> Zig. 
Okay, so we only have um, uh, just our movement is measured in meters, right? Yep. Not spaces. Meters. Oh. I can still do the free command check, uh, yep. but I'll switch it. I'll switch it over to the dodge one. Everyone gets plus ten to dodge. Got it. Just say maybe we shouldn't go for the side that it's gonna target next. <laughs> uh, the other side is the side to it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes and no. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. It's, out of curiosity, is this like a driveway? Uh, what specifically are you looking for? Down here at the bottom, is there like a door under the wall here? I'm just confused by this path, how oh, it kind no, of like... Oh, no, it's just, it's, it's meant to kind of just like come up to like, a, to like, to like a place. There's a entry under here, but it's kind of like a gate. It's not meant big enough for a car, but there's an entry down here, yes. Okay, so we can go that way and get through, presumably. You could. If you Gate might be closed. Yes. Okay. All right, well, that answers my question. Uh, so let's see, I can move 12 meters, if I'm here correctly, right? Yeah, I'm running all out. What happened? Uh, okay. What'd you say? Uh, I was just double checking you. We're looking at the 12 meters for this is not four squares. Yeah. 12 yep. meters, yeah. I thought uh, we were calculating yeah. it by squares this whole time. Well, same. 12 meters and four squares. That, that's literally. <laughs> They're the same thing. 12 meters and four squares are the same thing. Yeah, it's just, that's not very far. And that's all run distance. Oh, run is different. Run is 24. It's different for everyone. Everyone has yeah, a different one. It's, based off of, it's based off your agility. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Ziggy, what you doing? I'm getting about here. I'm heading for that gate. Okay. Taming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um I kinda see where everyone's going, so I'm like, okay, that's that's a good idea. Um I have, like, a really weird question. I have a so, really weird answer. Okay, so, like, roughly, like, how large is this thing's mouth? Um... What'd you say? It could reliably, if it wanted to, eat the front cabin of that car you all were just in. Okay, okay, so, like... Fun size. Realistically, like, if you, like, wanted to throw something, you could Kobe it pretty easily, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> this is this is too far out there. But from where I am, would it be possible to like take one of these containers of spook and like try to medicate it from a distance? Are you, are you gonna, try to are you the gonna get the fucking tyrannid eye? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe mellow it out. Maybe give it some insanity points. I don't know. Yeah. Is that what? Okay. I don't know. Well, it's, is it a suppressant or well, an accelerant? Mechanically, Tyranids can't gain insanity points. Oh, okay. I don't think I would notice. <laughs> Bro, drugs at it. Weird, weird question. No, I appreciate it. Listen, I'm You I'm... could. <laughs> Kobe the drugs into its mouth. Kobe the drugs into the Tyranids' mouth. <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> Really? Should I like this? Is this is weird? You're, listen, you know, like if you're gonna do it, then let, but, let's but do with it. the distance, but with the distance, you're also going to have to yeet it. You're going to yeet and Kobe at the same time. Exactly. Like that's that's the scary part. I'm not very athletic. Yeah. This is why you give it to me. I have the capacity to yeet and Kobe. Okay. But. It's not just like, hey. Okay. <laughs> alternatively. <laughs> like, hey, like, <laughs> alternatively. Just shoot it and run. Well, the guns don't do anything. We saw that. But their guns don't do anything. I'm sorry, I forget we oh, all don't have guns. cool guns. <laughs> exactly. My gun would probably not do anything either. So I don't know. It's kind of as a last uh, ditch effort. Yeah, I would probably just like eat the spook over to Kira and be like, hey, I'm not sure if this will work, but I don't know. This could like make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your strength? What's your strength bonus?
Wait, was it me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What's your strength oh. bonus? Um, my strength bonus is three. So you have a nine range. Yeah. I'm not close enough. You're and I do just not really shy. want to get close. Oh wait, you, wait you, you're I'm not, just uh, shy. I you're, mean, your 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 square is yeah, you're you're halfway in. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Hold up. Hold up let me uh, snap the center. Snap the corner. Hold up. Oh yeah, no, you're good. You can do that. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're so fine. I can throw it? Yes, you can throw it. You can throw it to Karen if you'd like to. You can throw this boot, you can throw this boot to Karen. It's fine. Okay. Chuck well, yeah. it and run. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna chuck it and run. Cause why? Why not? All right, then do that and move. And then, yep, I'm gonna. Uh... Should I? Uh... Eighteen meters. So... For me, so I can get to about. Here. Kiernan, it's on you. Confirming everyone can see that is 15 meters. Yep. It is time to eat Yobi. <laughs> like, I don't Yobi! think- Yobi! Oh, Yobi! <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't think this is gonna work, but you know, it's the finale. Why not just fucking- Hey, um, I'm oh. tired. I mean, go ahead. Do you think? I do, in fact, actually also have a tox grenade, so I'll use that as a standard measurement. Um, I'll half aim, I guess. Uh, no, fuck yes. it. I, I want to run afterward. Uh, standard. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's uh, Yobi. Are you? Uh, I could even make that a called shot. I think. You could um, if you want to, but that, yeah. I feel like to put it in its mouth, it kind of <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, it kind of yeah. has to be, yeah. Uh, so it's okay. a minus 20. So it still hits. So minus two degrees of success. Yeah, so here's my question, though. Are you throwing the spook payment just gave you, or the tox grenade? The, or the, 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 the oh. 5d10 grenade. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much to ask for everything. Uh, I... Mm, I believe in Tateman and the moment, and it's in my hand, so we're gonna throw. I, mm, uh, there is potential for is more it? yo being in the future. Uh, <laughs> okay. So for the moment, we're throwing the we're we're throwing the um, oh god, what's it called? The, the spook. The, the spook. spook. And I just shared what it does in uh, our chat. Mm -hmm. Just in Let case, me, uh, so you don't have to this. look it up. Cool. Okay. Um. So, T Taman, how much do you know about Tyranids? I don't know. Like, heck is the player has no idea, so I don't know how much Taman would know. That's, like... no, that's okay. The answer is probably not much. That's fine. Yeah. So, Tyranids are <laughs> creatures innately tied to the warp. They, their psychic, their hive-minded link exists partially within the subspace of the warp. Um... So you're not sure what making a Tyranid see visions of the warp would do to it? And watching this card effects over here, you're still not fucking sure, actually. As it just starts whipping its head back and forth and lashing out with its talons. Kiernan, go ahead, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the rest of my rest of my turn to move the Go. fuck out of here. Go. Um, just four four spaces in the one, two, three, four direction. Lenora, we moving, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we running. Mm-hmm. Two, three, four. Puts me there. I can't move my buddy, so. I got it. Don't worry. Anything else? Uh, nope. I think uh, we're holding on to that for a minute. Okay. On its turn, it continues to thrash about. It then turns and barrels its way towards this wall. The statue here knocked over, completely crushed, and thrown aside. It smashes headlong into this garrison here, knocking this whole wall area here down. In fact, this whole upper plateau area 
just starts coming down on it. Just crushing down on it. It's not dead. Very, very far from it. It is, however, restrained, and the way is wide open. I'm neat. So, this is where I'll give you the call. If y'all want to, y'all can all break initiative right now and try to make a run straight past this. I will tell you as a meta moment, doing that will put you farther ahead than trying to go in through the gate. But, if you do it that way, by as in like running past the Tyranid, then I will make you all take a skill check of some kind, either athletics or acrobatics, to not take an, an attack from it. Now, there are, uh, I guess that's what, two, four, six, eight, ten of you guys total? Only a grand total of three of you can or will get hit. So even if you all fail the attack, I will only pick three of you to get hit by the, by the, by the uh, carnivores that you're all passing. I'm going to the other door. <laughs> Hell no! So we're going we for the gate? It. Yeah. No, we're yeah, going for the gate. Fair enough. I, I'll say, I kind of think it's like a, as he's kind of, we're all running, he kind of like knocks over the statue and like with where Marius is, I can imagine it just like falling in front of him. Oh and like yeah, skidding no to the side. Oh. As like all this like rocks and rubble comes through. Uh, I, I think it'd be cool too if it like blocks off the staircase. It's like clearly not an option yeah. almost. As long as like player wise, we're okay with like going down there. I think that's oh, yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Not really. Alrighty. So yeah. You swerve, you swerve the call hard to the right as the Carnifex sits there entombed by your efforts. Uh, you all move over to this gate. It's iron, it's metal. You imagine a last cutter could get through it pretty easy without too much trouble, and it just so happens to, I mean, Power Sword is certainly also an option, but even outside of that, you all have built-in last cutters in the armor at this point, so it's not a trouble for you all to get through that door without too much of an issue. And... Yeah, you all find yourselves making your way inside the mansion. Let me stop some of this ambience. So you make your way, you make your way inside. The sound of explosions and laser in the distance fades off. You can still hear the wind rustling radio chatter still checking in every bit here and there but this area you've entered into in this mansion as it were it's quiet almost uncomfortably quiet you're on a lower level right now you can sense that but thankfully there is a staircase to your left that would put you directly right, uh, directly up and towards like the main foyer, as it were. Ziggy, you happen to have a schematic of this building still on you currently. Mm -hmm. You want to pull it up currently? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Ziggy will pull up the schematics. So, from where you guys are right now, you're in the sub level. Which, well, a couple things are tr are problematic about this. One, the sub level is designed as a bunker. It's not really designed to get uh, easily out of. It's designed to get easy easily into. The staircase to your left is probably your easiest way to get back up without having to find and meander through some super complicated passage uh, to find another way up to like the higher level. From the main level, however, well, there's two ways to get to the top floor. And you only know this because you have the schematic. There's the stairs, obviously, which are on the sort of, for the purposes of uh, like the left, the lefternmost flank of the building, was a, a row of stairs that head up. But in the main room, or on the main floor, off to the right, there's actually a station for repairing, refitting, and storing servitors. Which, you know, handle cleaning and things all throughout the, uh, the, man the manor and mansion. And in that room, there's a service elevator.
Well, I would like to take the service elevator. And I would inform the rest of the team that our best option would probably be the service elevator. It could still be working. Given structures like these, the service elevator is probably attached to the main support structure. So until this building starts collapsing on us, I'm very certain it will be at the very least either functional or have a maintenance title with inside. Well, given how that NID was working on the base structure, I'm not sure how much longer we have where it is structurally sound. Ah, oh, best choice we got, though. Let's do it. Hey, guys, yeah, shut this, Hmm. Hmm. The dice always know. Okay. So you're all getting a good look at the schematic. Commander, you're looking at it like just trying to get a good tactical way of the best way to like to breach and clear and sweep through and get to this building. Mostly because time's getting a little bit short. That hive tower, or that carnifex, regardless of how fast y'all ran away from it, definitely held y'all up a while. So you're wondering, like, oh, man, okay. Ziggy's way obviously sounds like the best plan, the service elevator. And I guess taking the left corridor right here straight up to the main foyer and blasting through there, probably for the best. Kiernan, though, you get a look at the schematic. You almost make Ziggy switch between the lower, like, the lower floor and the, like, where you're at the sub-level and the main floor for a bit. You're like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You walk up to the wall directly in front of you all. You tap it a couple times. Server the room's right there. You could blabby blast through this if you wanted to. Fuck okay, it. I just I'd start getting myself some symptom like you know. <laughs> The man gets pull out a, pull out a stick. That C four. <laughs> roll out the roll out the little charge and everybody get behind fire, the wall. Yeah, fire yeah. me real real quick. Mm -hmm. Put the goggles down. I'm gonna make a door. Go ahead and roll. What, six seconds. Go ahead and roll for me. Big fucking door coming right. Whatever up. skill you feel would be appropriate for you doing some blasting. Uh, I would say probably tech use, given that's what they've been using for me, uh, working with my explosives thus far. Let's go with that, then. It's my breacher skill of choice, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, shit. you perfectly Clean. shape, like, an imperial soldier-sized, like, s like, ring of Semtech around this. Get it, like, rolled out. Yeah. Very thin really lines. Really thin, perfectly lined up. You hit it, and it's just, like... And a whole slab of door just... Gunk. You all breach in immediately. Like, Sergeant, you already know. Like You you, you all know how to, do, how to do an entry. So you're all like, you know, swarm in and like, go check the room immediately. You breach in and Sergeant, it's actually you that sees the person who's in the room with you. He doesn't really notice fast enough to see what in the fucking hell is going on. So you get a power sword through his back before he can do anything. Just... Right up through him. And as he's falling over limply, you see his arms fall to the side. His left, his right, and his other right. Mm. Yeah, something not right. However, well, that's not a stable strain that I know of. Yeah, Ziggy, you'd recognize this as definitely a gene stealer hybrid, but not in any way a one you recognize normally. In fact, you're you have some good records on uh, first through third gen hybrids. Something looks a little weird about this one. It's almost it's almost too human. 
Minus the whole third arm and the bone ridge over its forehead. Give me a second. I'm just uh, realigning stream views and things. However, you all find yourselves in the servitor quarters. Uh, this guy here in front of you is dead now. Don't mind that that uh, the, the guy in front of you. He's he's very he's very dead. He's very not alive. Good. There's a control panel that appears like he was working on that. You can see storage units around the room, which peeking inside them, each of them has a couple of packed away areas where you feel like someone that's kind of human size could fit if they squish themselves down incredibly uncomfortably, but servitors, so. Along with all the various tubes to keep them nutriated and fed and otherwise taken care of. And back here in the corner, it's a large elevator door. Alright, well, Zig is just going to step over that dead body and access that control channel, see what he was up to, and see if we can get that elevator started. He was handling final. Well, he was handling preparations for uh, final preparations for a shuttle uh, launch, making sure that a lot of the last fuel was moved over into the shuttle at the, at the, on the top floor, as well as handling some other menial things. It turns out the last communique he received was from the inheritor, which was told to prep the shuttle. You assume they were waiting for him to get here. You all know that's not going to happen. Otherwise, no. though, uh, the elevator controls are there, and it's offline, but you could turn it back on. Oh, good. Okay. They already did all the work for prepping the shuttle for us. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that elevator back on. Prepping him to get some of these storage containers on here? Sorry, what's that? Uh... Well, we have a distinct lack of servitors, and the servitor maintenance crates are not strictly needed. Right. Sorry. Uh, I... Mm. She's a little worried we might be uh, loading up materials full of full of these fuckers onto ships right now. Well, we are commandeering the ship they were prepping to leave this planet with, anyways. We suggesting we should take these crates or not? No, no. I'm I'm worried about the rest of the resources we can get on. I mean, are these just preservers, or is this like high? Well, you... nutrient paste, sort of great nutrient paste is a good last resort ration if you want to maintain that stock it is 80 percent safe for normal human consumption what about gene stealer uncertain i i'm not a biologist i would not know ah, yeah, i'll probably just be paranoid let's go shoot something I want to pop one of them open. <laughs> uh, one of the crates? Yeah, why not? Let's see what's in it. Let's confirm. You pop it open. Uh, which one do you start with? Pick one. Uh, we'll do this one. That's right next to me. You pop open that one. There are four spaces that are definitely made to be plug-in spots for servitors. Again, where the, where the tubes mm. plug in and where they can be stored at. And there's sort of four spots, so you think you reach this one could fit about four of them. Just that one, or any more? Do that one too. I'm gonna end up popping them all open if we're waiting. Oh no, it's okay. I think we should get going, probably. Oh no, it's yeah. Okay. Are we waiting for the elevator to come back on? Oh no, it's okay. Don't worry. You got the right one. Oh. <laughs> so when you pop open that second crate, it's not four compartments for a servitor. It's just one big compartment. Roughly human-sized, actually. And it's not like the normal servitors, which are like a socket where it gets plugged in. It's padded and has a spot for a nutrient tube. Like someone could, I don't know, 
hide away in this crate for a while if they had to. Yeah, you mech boys might want to scrub for you, uh. <clears throat> Open up all these. And it's about that time that the elevator dings. And gunpoint. It's op the door opens. It's empty. There's no one in it. It's an open elevator. And it's definitely enough room for ten. Alright. Yeah? Let's be moving then. Yes, we should be able to take this elevator all the way to the top floor where the shuttle is waiting. The Yep, so the way this works specifically is the elevator goes up to the last actual level of the building, which there is a landing that you can take a staircase that leads out to the actual shuttle bay itself. So, you all pile into the elevator, begin to make your way, and as you are traveling up, it's quiet. A calm sense. But a budding tension builds within all of you. And right as you right as you're getting to the top, you get that feeling in your stomach, like whatever you're approaching. This is it. The last push. Get through this and maybe just maybe get off this rock. And it's just as you crest and think that the door opens, and you find yourself facing a row of grenades jury rigged to the wall. I need everyone to take half that many wounds. No, no armor given. Yeah. Oh. Round down or up? F in the chat, lads. <laughs> yeah, is it round up or round down? <laughs> round down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not dead. Uh, Ziggy is still functioning. Mm -hmm. Everything past zero is critical damage, right? Yes. Oof. So how many critical wounds are you taking? Two. All right, let's get a location for you then, huh? Uh, give me one second to get the combat register up. Or not the... Uh, un, un second. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Here we go. Alright, hit locations. I'm just gonna roll two for you. Uh, oh, I, I, I need to roll 2d10. I only have one in front of me right now. Pardon. Uh, that is... <laughs> left leg. And... Body. So take one yeah, take one critical injury injury to your leg and one to your body. Sorry, actually that's not how that works. I roll two and then pick the and then pick the uh, pick the location I want. So no, take two critical injuries to your body. My bad. Okay. Anybody else take critical damage? I did. How many? Uh three. Thank uh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> I just fixed that. Left arm. Or. What? Sergeant? Well, yeah. Take yours to the head. Oh, right. no. Uh, so I did already roll my D10 that you roll on top of the crit to figure out your. Uh huh. Your crit damage of which thing you get. Uh huh. Roll the nine. Uh oh. What does that mean? Well, ten plus means it you're means, dead. <laughs> it, it means. It means. We're going to a brief break. No, no. And we'll be right back. See you guys soon.
and we return to what will be the last leg of the last session of In His Divine Name. Where we last left off, our players walked right into a trap. A deafening explosion rocked the elevator they were traveling in. And as they were all consumed in light, the two closest to it were Lenora and the sergeant. We'll begin with you, sergeant. You come to. Your ears are ringing. You can't see much. At first it's dust. Then you open your eyes and shake your head a bit. You can see out of your left eye, but your right's still closed. Probably got some dust in it. You move your hand up and wipe it away. Still can't see too much. Gotta keep wiping. Come on, come on, come on. Taman, you shake out your, uh, you know, your, your dustness. You and Flint are coming too, along with Ziggy and the rest of the squad. You look over and see the commander wiping at an eye socket. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I see him. Do I see anybody else? Most of the squad is there. The only person you don't see at all right now is Lenora. Okay, um, whoever looks like most able, I'm just gonna be like, please find Lenora. Just find her, and I'm like, already like taking things out, like, going to the sergeants, like, trying to, you know, fix things, triaging things based on the squad we have right now. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll, uh, sort of, uh, side, uh, hand wave that for the, to the time, and it's just for the sake of not making your injury debilitating, we'll assume that Taman gets your eye to a place where you can function with just the one eye without too much complication or negative, or negative, uh, uh, gameplay mechanics for it. Meanwhile, not in the elevator, but somewhere else. Lenora Vasir, have you ever been alone? Truly alone? Completely alone. No. Because there's always been either somebody watching her or there's always that ever constant presence in the warp. And what does that presence feel like to you? Feels hot. Ever shifting, ever, ever shifting, but somehow always constant, save for the empty voids that would reach out with these tyranids at time to time. Sometimes there are those overwhelming presences like the maw she fell into before or reaching out further if you're not careful the demons that lurk in the dark. Lenora, you feel right now like you're swimming in fire, floating along in the midst of a sea of endless heat, flames licking at skin that's not there, charring bone you can't feel, singeing nerve that doesn't exist. You are empty and alone, but on fire. It licks at you for what feels like such a long time. Consumes everything you know. And then a voice, soft and honeydew, silken and whispery. Is it too much? She probably, 
She wouldn't say anything, but the warp generally manifests through feeling anyway. So it's pain. It is agony and grief. Yes. Grief. You know grief, don't you? How much have they taken from you? There's just passing glimpses that manifest and get washed away in this fire of the warp of all these faces of soldiers of civilians everything that she's either burned witness killed or well had to say goodbye to all that, that being but... one of the most important people to her All that power to burn, to destroy. But what can you save? What is precious to you? Again, that feeling, that imagery of faces Again, some lost and those that, as far as she knows, are still living. I'm wondering if they've actually survived or not. But before it settles on that last face, you know the one. You hear a shh. I know, I know. I can give her back to you. There's desperation and the resounding thought of what do I need to do? Let go. And say thank you. At that point, what little that hadn't been consumed is just engulfed by the flames with that last echoing thank you. The fire, the intensity of it, it laps at you more, increases in heat, burns away until you can't feel anything anymore. And then it settles, and you're in darkness. Just as Kiernan moves a rock from over your head. You're injured, a collapsed rib or two, probably a broken arm here or there. But you feel fine. In fact, you've never felt better. Oh, I think the Emperor here. Oh, we lost you. You, uh, you all right? Hey, she... Coughs and shifts trying to actually get up and move and with the sarcastic response of never been better. <laughs> And to an extent, that's true. <laughs> Jeez, you're, you're sure you got... Oh. Uh, uh, all right. <sighs> got a little, little... Little shrapnel in your neck. I might just... Let me just... Piece let me just, of metal out. 
I imagine she just takes the metal out and her hand goes hot for a minute and just a flinch and just cauterizes it. Oh, it melts. It doesn't even, like, <laughs> like, you look at it and it goes white hot and then, like, folds over like paper in your hands. <laughs> well, that's a neat trick. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we found her. She's, she's <laughs> fine. <laughs> As the rest of you so are coming to... kind of give a look over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll check her over. She's <laughs> fine. She's mostly okay. Again, like, she definitely has at least a broken rib. Not like a floater or anything. Nothing too bad. But you give her a once-over, some patches up, a bandage here or there, and yeah, she seems fine, in fact. A lot of her external wounds, the places where shrapnel might have cut or scraped her, the wounds are literally cauterizing, like heating hmm. themselves up to the point of closing. You all start coming too, and you recognize that despite the surprise, the elevator survived the blast and is still on the top floor. You didn't like collapse back down to the bottom or anything. And around that corner, just, as, just ahead of you, is a long, long-reaching hallway. Collapsed pillars and destroyed, you know, detritus and rocks, suffering as mostly the only bits of cover. Sergeant, you're at the end of the hallway. You peek your head around the corner just a little bit. Just that, you know, get that one good eye around the corner to see what you can see. And along with all the cover positions, you see, down here towards the bottom, a pair of sandbags... Which, as you're getting a real good look, appear to be guarded. Uh, give me one second. By two individuals who look mostly human, save that gross purplish skin. Behind them, though, the twin sets of staircases that you can see lead right to the roof. And just behind it, you can hear the hum of the shuttle powering up. At this point here, friends, it's do or die. Steal yourselves, get ready. If there's anything last minute you wanna to say to each other before you, you know, head off, do so now. Anything you wanna prep, do so now. Otherwise, if there is nothing else, I'm going to say it one last time. Roll me some initiative. Lovata, how many breaching charges do you have left? Breaching charges? Yeah, one or two. I was thinking a little bit bigger. Why? I may wish for a alternate path at this moment. It'd be worth it. <laughs> you, you taking them yourself, or uh, need someone to open the door? I believe I could handle it. All right. Everybody in? I'll. Give him the breach of charges and, uh... Yeah, my initiative in there. Alright, uh, is anybody not in initiative? Oh. So the leaders again. Uh, I think we're missing Taman. That's it. Yes? Yes. Yes. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, I'm looking for my, uh, stuff. Hold on. You take your time. It is so hard to have this uh, minimized and then coming yep. out here. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh shit, okay. Woo. So, to confirm, you gave me two recent charges, correct? Yep. Alright.
All right. Anybody initiative? All right. Let me sort descending. Taman. We're starting yeah. with you this time. We are. Oh boy. All right. Let's see how far I can go. <laughs> oh, I was really zoomed out. I cannot go very far. Okay. This is fine. Um. Oh wait, no, this is a beat. It's not an uh I did it again. Theater. I'll fix it. Hold up. Okay. Fixing it right now. Stand by. No wonder I was like, that doesn't seem right. Problem solved. Check it now. Aha! Okay, it is. Cool, 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 cool. Um You can I go. Okay. Yeah, um I'm probably gonna have to use my full action to get to a better position. So, mm, do I want to go across the hall, <laughs> or do I want to just go to this next little floor? I don't know. Hurry it up, though. Hurry it up, though. Listen, listen, I know. Okay. I'm kidding, you got this, you're doing great. <laughs> Please don't do this to me. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the team. I think that's gonna be the best thing to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get across the hall. Go. Ah. Make sure stream has a good view of that. Awesome. That's it for you? Um, yeah, that's the most I can do. All right. They're I'll be ready up. to cover peeps. A lot of them start noticing you all, and they start just shuffling around their positions a little bit, looking for better angles, coming around and such. A lot of them are just holding their actions, waiting for y'all to come out so they can, you know, take shots. In fact, they're always going to hold their action for now. Uh, can this one get a line of sight? See. Asking so I can pop him next time. Yes, yeah, yeah, he can't actually see you both, but he's going to wait until either of you move or come out before he does anything. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to shoot the guy that's not going to shoot us, I guess. Go um, for it. Um... I'm gonna tell everyone to. All right, we got. They're uh, held up. Let's move in. Or let's uh, take wise shots and move smart. We, I'm gonna try and give everyone. I failed this time. Oh, no. 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 No, no get them. Right no get them. I didn't say get them. That's why it didn't work. Like that. Um, if you said get them, it would have worked. Yeah. Uh, how far? Just put it on your bingo card. Put it on the bingo card. Oh, that is short range still. Um, I will do the, uh, semi. And I get plus five, plus buddy. I miss again. Oh, no. Ooh. And a fire. That's and a miss. And a fire. And, miss. and a miss. And a miss. That's my turn. I took the aim. Lenora, go for it. Alrighty, then. Oh. Um. I guess they give a little bit of a cover. Let's cast that fire shield. Do it. We got a phenomena. A phenomena. Phenomena. Warp ghosts. Warp ghosts. I'm pulling it up. Give me a second. Uh, the psychic powers. Psychic phenomena. What was that? What, Ghostly what? apparitions fill the air. Oh. Everyone in the radi in a 3D 10 meter radius, except for the psyker, must test against a fear rating of one. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna uh, gonna 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 flavor this a little bit. So Lenora, you bring up this 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 shield of fire in front of you, and it feels like effortless. You just effortlessly whip up this wall of fire around them. It's no effort to you at all. The air starts to chill a bit. You all feel frost begin to gather on the corners of your armor. And off in the distance, as if in the back of all of your minds, you all hear. <laughs> Go ahead and make that fear test. Do you still have that plus time? Can I negate it? I... <laughs> <laughs> make a, a, a command check against the willpower? Yes. In that case, Lenora needs to roll the willpower check then. Yep. 
Alrighty. Uh, and you can add plus 10 because you're technically cause fear 10 right now. Or fear 1 right now. I got 8 degrees of success. Damn. Four. All right, Sergeant, how do you snap the squad out of being afraid of this psychic phenomena? Uh, I'm going to focus. Well, uh, so part of it is that I'm supposed to, uh, as per the other thing, I'm, I'm creating a fear myself, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and I'm going to do that by focusing everyone's attention to getting off the planet uh, and raising the fear of the time running out. <laughs> Reasonable. So uh, I'm just going to kind of say, we don't have much time. We're going to have to move through these. Let's focus. Yeah, and so Lenora, your file shows up. Anything else you gotta do? Uh, I'm gonna. I've got light of sight on this guy. I'm gonna pop him. Do it. Pop. Oh, let me get some more music on. Sorry, my fault. And phenomena. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Nice. Oh no. Nice. 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 I want. See. Let's go with this. Oh place. no, Everyone. this is a. That doesn't look good though. Oh, another <laughs> one. Look nice, actually. Oh, that doesn't look good at all, huh? The machine spirit rejects your unnatural ways. All unwarded technology within 5d10 meters malfunctions, and all ranged weapons jam. While characters with cybernetic implants must pass a routine toughness check, which is plus 10, or suffer 1d5 damage. 19 How far? meters. 5 to 10 oh. meters, so 19 meters. Uh, so yeah, pretty much just you guys save Taman. Yeah, all your guns jam. Oh, fine. <laughs> Except Taman. Taman, your gun's fine. Okay. Sorry, guys. So next turn, you can take an action to clear the uh, clear the jam. Yes, I will. I will kill all of them with Kiernan, my single go. carbine. It's on you. Please really? hold it. Hang on, hang on. I need to figure out how much damage I just took from this. Oh yeah, right. Cause you have cybernetic implants. Are, are, are you warded? It doesn't matter. Oh no, the cybernetic implants thing. Yeah. Oh sweet heaven. That was fourteen damage. Nice. All right, Kieran, do you think? Uh, so yeah, is is that is this fella on fire? Uh oh, he sure is. Uh, how much damage did you take? 14. Oh, shit. Uh, with pen zero? Yes. He is actively screaming and on fire right now. Like, he is very clearly in a lot of pain and probably on death's door. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no. Uh, qu question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could I lean out and shoot this guy? You sure can. Cool. So Wait, what we're gonna do? My plasma gun could, is technically jammed. However, I have technical knock, which means I am particularly cool with me and me and me and the uh, you know space space daddy's uh, you know uh, garage guy. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 me and uh, he 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 blessed the backside of my palm, and I give Bessie a hard smack with a half action to. Uh, Clear her out. All right, shoot then. Uh, I would love to. Uh, I will not make this maximal, so it doesn't have to recharge. But that will be that's a hit. Uh, two two shots. Damage. We'll... Love to. Uh, so that's gonna be thirteen pen six. First one kills him. That, that the first shot kills the guy you were shooting at. Perfect. Gonna put the other guy. Uh, let's. Get the guy behind him then. Okay. Seventeen pence. Kills him too. Oh wait, Jeez. no, he has cover, so he, he's not fully dead. Okay. He's still hurt though. But yeah, so All you right. put the first round. This guy's come out of the door. You catch him. <clears throat> he ex explodes in plasma and dies. The second guy tries to dip down. You see it like the plasma scorches armor a bit. He taps it and tries to get the flame out. But otherwise, it seems fine. Yeah. Uh, and since you came out that means that well he lost he lost his ready action because he um because he got is on fire he's dead so he lost his two so only these two can still shoot so they will both try and shoot actually you know what one of them will try and shoot the other one will still hold so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now uh they are a bit panicky right now 
So they're going to just go ahead and do a full auto. Hiya! Well, Ooh. well, I can try and dodge that, yeah. You sure could if you want to. I I would like to, go yeah. Go for it. If it's possible. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. There you go. So yeah, lets out a burst of auto pistol fire from his left hand, or his upper left hand, and it just you just hits chunks into the wall right right beside you as you as you dip to the side and, and then and avoid it. Ziggs, it's on you. All right, uh, I believe kind of take a half action to use one of those dev charger, those uh, uh, breaching charges to get through this wall. Yes. All right, I believe that's tech use. Yep. All right, uh, one tech use. No problem. You blast right through this wall. No problem. And then I'm gonna take a half move, which is two spaces to pretty much get right here. Hey, Ziggy. Mm -hmm. The atmospheric conditions of the of the ambient air and anywhere within the five mile radius appears about seven degrees too high. It's too hot outside. The laser's charging. Uh -huh. Yeah, we we need to hurry. Mm -hmm. Taman. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool. Is it possible that I can like kind of peek around this corner for where, I, where I'm at and shoot at this guy? Uh, this guy will shoot at you, but yes. Ooh. Shoot out! Shoot out! Yeah, wait, yeah, like what's what's what's? Oh, okay. I can definitely reach him. Can I shoot him instead? Yes. Okay, we're gonna shoot. Yeah, the guy across the hall. Um, cool. Um, we're just gonna full send it in this, this semi-auto land. <laughs> um, with my buddy. So five. There we go. All right, all, all right. right. Let's go. Oh Let's hell yeah! Damage. Give me yeah, the damage. Let's go. Boy, is. Okay, not it's okay. The best. He was hurt very bad, so through the cover, you actually managed to take him out. So, yeah, well, he damn. is. So, like, he actually, like, you start, like, putting fire at him. He ducks down, tries to go sprint across here to get, like, cover from somewhere else, gets a single step out before you and Bennett just put rounds in him, and he falls over very dead. It's their turn. This guy will come, make, uh, come out to here. This guy here will step to here. Uh, he will hang out where he is. Let me take a quick check for these guys and see how smart this guy is. Give me one second. I just want to see how smart this guy is. Uh, hold up. I need this. Well, okay, fair enough. Damon, he sees you, he's gonna try to focus on you right now. <laughs> okay. I mean, trust me, that was better than the other option he had planned. So here comes, not full aiming, but still full autoing. Here comes an auto pistol at you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, fine. Not oh. so fine. Nope. Uh oh. You can you can dodge one of those. Yes. Too. Oh, I could. You're right. I always forget about that. I'm gonna try to dodge. That... Um, does he take like four fire damage from the fire shield too? He does. To yes. Yeah. No, five. it didn't work. Five because it's pushed. Oh yes, you're right. Five. That's very true. <laughs> how much is that helpful? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that didn't. It it matters. It matters. It matters for the enemy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I... Do you have cover too? With that yes, corner? yes, so yes, 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 yes. Oh, she gets okay. cover. Have we used the party plus two? Uh, no, I think so. Uh, no, I no, I thought you blew it for one of your earlier things, Meg. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, did I? I thought so. Uh, there's always hero points too. That's your fate oh. points. Yeah. points. So, I, like, I oh, remember using points. That might I be remember scary. using the point. Taman, you take a grand total of let's see. 
your armor is you have a great total of seven reduction from your toughness in your armor right or more than that what's your total reduction for your for, from armor and everything that's a great question i don't know if you go to your much. sheet and look at equipment just scroll down to where it's the armor display and it'll, it'll say like uh at each part of the same you have total that second number under each part oh okay so yeah seven okay so seven uh so you take 10 you ran two actually hmm? Taman ran Oh yeah, that's no, true. No, no wait, we you shot this turn. That oh, was yeah. last turn. So, so Tamin, you take a grand total of ten wounds to your head. Oh god. Okay. And you take a critical effect of six. Which okay, what does that mean? I will tell I don't you know anything about this game. I will tell you right now once I pull it up. Hold tight. Also All remember, right. your wounds are reduced by your armor. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I did the rest so, of that. Yeah. I am okay. It's okay. I already did that. Uh, I was so oh. confused. You're, you're, the number I gave you this is the finale, and I know nothing about this game. You're, 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 <laughs> no, don't, don't worry. It'll be over soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Imagine knowing know anything, anything about this now. Uh, All right. Impact I mean, effect what? head six. The target's head is snapped back by the attack, leaving them staggering around trying to control mind-numbing pain. The target is stunned for 1d5 rounds, knocked backwards oh, 1d5 meters, must take a challenging agility test, or be knocked prone. So go ahead and I'm, I'll roll the 1d5s for you, you just give me the agility test. Flat okay. roll. Okay. Slash. Now I have to find that. Ah. Hold on. Nope. So you are knocked prone, stunned for three rounds, and uh, let's, what was the other one? Oh yeah, you are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You are. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Yeah. So you're stunned for three rounds. You're knocked back five meters, and you're and you're knocked prone. Okay. So you just kind of fall back to about here-ish, and you fall prone from the impact of a last gun round striking your helmet very hard, just dinging your helmet as hard as possible. Uh, this guy here can see down the hallway and will shoot at, uh, Kiernan, I guess? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let me get that statute up. Uh, boop. He'll also do a full auto. He didn't move, so he'll, oh, he didn't move, actually, so he'll just, uh, no aiming. So here comes that. He missed, real bad, and it's gun jammed. So yeah, he tries to fire at Kiernan. You can hear that click, click, click. He's just like, yeah, damn it! It starts like banging the gun against the side of the this, this rock fixture here. Uh, this guy back here, these all start they all start running actions. This last guy here runs and starts to work on, uh, starts to pick up and work on this large structure in the back. And he holds his action. That's their turn. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it would take a really boring turn. Um, I'm gonna issue a command for everyone to, uh, I don't remember what it's called. I have to look it up. Uh, covering fire. Okay. That's, the, that's the one. So it's gonna get plus ten to any dodge actions, um, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a follow Ziggy's lead and kind of run through the other side. Works for me. I don't me. know that I can really get that far, but yep, you're in. Lenora, it's on you. Uh, she is gonna end up doing a half action to just step out. Doesn't seem to really care that that made you stepping out of the open. This guy is going to be put out of his fucking misery. Do the thing. Lenora, don't, don't, roll <laughs> Lenora don't roll phenomena. Just roll damage. Yeah. <laughs> I just fuck that guy. <laughs> 21. Yeah, so, Lenora, you lash out. You swing your arm forward. Fire lances forward in crackling tendrils and envelop this guy. He tries to bat at them, but they just take him over and reduce him to a flaming puddle before long. You all hear screaming from behind you. Lenora, you turn around. That partner you had with you, 
you've kind of F. yeah kind of turned him to a flaming pile of mess in the process F strangely enough you don't feel like you care at all I wasn't attached to him it's fine <laughs> anything else for you uh no that was both of my actions so Kiernan you're up uh, it feels very hot near Lenora. More than it normally does. <laughs> uh, I'm always hot near Lenora. <laughs> uh, I, this rubble here, is that an effective means of cover? Yes. All this rubble here is effective cover. All of and uh, th this guy got, got taken down, yeah? Oh, yeah, he did. One, two, three, four. Ducking down here. Uh, <laughs> fuck aiming. Who even aims anymore? Imagine aiming, uh, Imagine aiming your firearm. What's the... So this this big gun here. Tell me about it. It's a heavy bolter turret. It's a turret. Mmm. Mmm. I'll clear the way for the moment. But I'm gonna make my gun maximal. Alright. So it'll hurt extra. Maximal volume. Uh, so. Tell no aim. Short range, standard shot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got him. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt then. Uh, mm hmm. Going for the turret, I assume? Uh, it's... Or for this guy right here? Uh, I was going for that guy. Okay, well, then he comes up. He actually like sees you come up and thinks like, all right, no. all right, I can close in, I can close in, I can close in. And as he goes to like hop over like the side, you just already ready, put a straight hole through that through him. And he just collapses over top of the ruin he's hopping over. Very dead. Damn it, Ziggy. I hate that I know your plan. Ziggy, you're up. All right, uh, so Ziggy is going to run all out this way mm -hmm. towards this door over here. Anything else? That's a full move. Right, that's everything. I don't have any more actions. Taman, you are currently stunned. Yep, she is just going to... She can't really talk, but, um... I like to think that she can at least, like, somewhat kind of push Ben in. She's just going to push him to try to tell him just to go. Uh, ben in looks back at you, looks forward, go. looks back, and goes back to shooting. It's their turn. They are starting to gather up now. This is sort of their last swell here, their last gathering together. And they start to just, well... Open up. This guy here. Actually, you know what? He'll run up here. He'll also take the run action to go up here. Go away, friend. He'll run up there. Because there's kind of sort of no one to close in. He'll also run up here. And this guy here is going to open on up with that heavy bolter. Let me figure that out real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, give me one second. Excuse me. Oh, hold up. It's technically a, a a tarantula turret, not a not his thing. Hold up. Let me do that. Let me do that. Uh, okay, cool. Coming up right now. Uh, that was gonna go at. I uh, will go through Kieran. Why not? Yeah, I can think of some reasons. If you really, two hits. really want me to get in, would you like to? Well, I, can, I would like to try and dodge that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got to well, Stan, you can knock one of Perfect. Oof. That's not good. No, no, it's not. That's the first <laughs> damage. 
Sorry, uh, so that's gonna be... Ow. Yeah. Ow. Ow! Left arm. I like that arm. Eight, minus five, and three. What's the so. cover give? Oh, yeah. What about my cover? Oh, your cover would give you an extra ten. Sorry, eight. Okay. Eight. Okay, so sixteen minus five is... Okay. So, that's still a lot. Uh, that's gonna put me at my max wounds. So you're at zero wounds? Yes. Well, I got two degrees of success, so... There's your remaining damage. Mm, well, you with might be the, okay, uh... Because the cover's yeah, with the, with the arm, with the, with the cover, uh, so... That'd be 16... Right, wait. It's to my leg, right? Yep. Well, arm, left arm. Eight plus that was another eight. Mm-hmm. That's one. That's one too many. Oh, so you take a single. Uh, wait, I could use a what? Um, fate points. What can I do to, to not roll the dodge roll if you wanted to? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. Uh. <laughs> come on. You could you also see. burn one to just auto succeed. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could just burn it. I mean, last session. I have a max of two. I'll take. Yeah, fuck it, man. Burn it. All last right, so session. Yeah. So you I'm dodge fine. the. Ball. So you. So you dodge the. Uh, you dodge the second one. You are just brought, brought to brought to zero wounds. You're fine. Fine. <laughs> or I guess it makes more sense for you. You dodge the first one. So yeah. So yeah, I guess I guess it makes more sense for you to for you, for you to dodge the uh, this, the first one. So you dodge the first one. Instead, you take. Whatever you take from the second one, you take that much. Gotcha. Uh, and that's their turns, Sergeant. I'm gonna run up. Okay. <laughs> Lenora. Can you you want to move the dead body for me? I gotcha, boss. Give me a second. All right, Lenora, you're up. Uh, let's see. As you're getting yourself ready to burn more heretics. You're hearing that honey voice in your head. You want more. So much more. I mean, she's not going to argue it at this point. Like, we're already this far in. Uh huh. Well, go do your thing. Yeah. Going to do my thing. Uh. We'll do this guy and that guy. So first one on the left. Boop. Yeah, you got there's, him. There's the phenomena. Memory worm. Memory worm. You keep rolling, I'll figure out what that is. Go ahead. Okay. And there's the damage for the the roll for the other guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, perils of the warp. Uh oh. Um. So, uh, first oh, off, second damage. Uh, first off, just so you're getting, so you get, you all can get this out of the way. You all forget something trivial. Every one of you. You all just randomly <laughs> forgot something trivial. You all just forgot it. Just whatever. Think, pick of a random trivial thing your character knows. You forgot it. It's gone. Now, I don't even have to because it was trivial, so I hadn't thought of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, as for yeah, you know, also the first guy is. is I can't remember what I forgot. Uh, the first guy is very dead. Second guy is also very dead. Um, however, that perils though. Meg, why don't you go ahead and give me a D one hundred? Okay. Boop. What do we got? Oop. A four. four. The gibbering. The psyker screams in pain. Its uncontrolled warp energy surge through their unprepared mind. You must take a challenging willpower throw or be stunned for 1d5 rounds. Actually, roll again for me real quick. Okay. Given you are currently suffused with this otherworldly energy, we're going to have you roll twice in this to take, to take another one. Oh, it's, oh, actually, it is a slightly different result. So... Uh, a violent burst of energy from the warp smashes into the Psyker's mind, sending you reeling. You suffer 
uh, 2d5 damage, ignoring toughness bonus and armor, and you're stunned for 1d5 rounds. So what happens, the way I'm going to flavor this is, don't worry about damage, you're not going to take damage. But you're feeling, as you're lighting these heretics on fire, it's burning you. Like, you feel inside, under your skin, all this pain. And that voice comes to you again. More. More. <laughs> and you all, the, who's closest to, to Lenora right now? I'm gonna look at the map real quick, excuse me. Kiernan. Kiernan, you're watching as Lenora's wild shock and mane of red hair begins to wave about and part. And beneath that, as you finally see her, her forehead beneath her hair, you can see the slight ridge growth of twin horns beginning to pop out of her skin. It's your turn, Kiernan. Indeed. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, your 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 timer on doing the techie thing has expired. I need to Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. I'm I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm I tried to make it as fast as I go and that yeah, twelve meters is not much. You're you're good. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you might have another shot here because I need to get the fuck out of this hallway. Uh, <laughs> I am gonna. Gosh, only I feel like I should take more advantage of how far I can fucking run. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Uh, yeah, I don't think you know how fast I am. Uh, oh wait, corners. Uh, twenty-four squares, so I could. How long are you getting 24 squares? It says run is 24. Meters, not squares. Meters. Ha, okay. Well, that's, that's a different. less It's a lesser amount. Different. I, feel, I feel like I should have been allowed to, to hustle my fucking butt. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna run to that corner. Get the fuck out of this hallway. Um, I'm gonna, like, pop around the corner. Uh... <laughs> Mander! We're losing her! Like, motion back to... Motion back to Lenore. What the world is that? <laughs> I don't wanna find out! Uh, but that's my, that's my turn. I, I did the runny thing. All right, six. And also now my now my plasma's recharged, so good. You did, Big Zig. Uh, it's on you. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue my mad dash to here. Word. Going down this side hallway here. Taman. Still stunned. <laughs> Poor Taman. Yep. Sergeant, Commander, person who's in charge. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're still kind of beset from both sides, so I'm gonna go forward with what I was doing, and I'm gonna try and charge this dude. Do it! Here, and bring my buddy. Do it! Um, also, I'm gonna issue the, I'm gonna do the dodge one again, so okay. I don't actually have to make a command roll. Okay. Uh, this is a charge. Roll some attacking. I can't roll under a 70, so... Oh, God. Just... Nice. Yep. Well, that it? Yep. <laughs> Lenora, it's on you. So this is pretty much going to be all movement, but moving up to this point down the hall, mm -hmm. and this... uh. Why can't I select my... I got there it. There we go. 
Got it. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> the fire shield comes down and actually seems to coalesce and encircle her itself, herself, and that warp fire just blazes up and coats her, covering her entirely. It's almost as if she is no longer a being of flesh and bone. It's just flames and heat radiating. Yeah. What you all currently see right now is just... It's not even a recognizable figure as Lenora. Just this vaguely humanoid shape of flame. And that's effectively it. In your head, Lenora, as all this fire consumes you and you can't feel a single lick of pain, all you hear is such a splendid body. Kiernan, it's you. It's already me? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> did, they, did they? Oh, right. Hold up. It's their turn. Actually, they should have left before. They're not in order anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh right, because because one of them. You deleted. Because the one that died. God damn it! I'll fix that later. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. It doesn't matter. It's the finale. Um, yeah, these two here are just gonna get in and start swinging in the melee. They just start trying to get at you, Commander, because they are right in front of you, and that's the thing they want to do. So here comes that one. Hiya. That's a miss. Give me another. Here comes the other one. That hits. I'd like to parry. You can parry. And just know, if I succeed on a parry, the disarmed. Uh, okay. And I get Which, which arms? It's a, it's a power sword. Okay. So I succeed. So I don't take the attack. Uh, he's 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 yeah. unarmed. Mm -hmm. You just like as you're bring he brings the knife around with his lower arm. You just invert your power sword, parry it away, sends it, the knife spinning away. And at this point, they're recognizing how few of them are left, but they are still fervently fighting. The heavy bolter spins up again. You all see it. Aim at the figure of Lenora the flaming figure it opens up with this barrage of fire a barrage of autocannon fire flies out up out against Lenora you all watch as these individual white hot points of bullet heat freeze in midair that ball of flame that was Lenora erupts. The wave of flame knocks you all to the ground. All of you hit the ground. Oh, wow. It's on you. Taman was already on the ground. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I got through two walls to get to Ziggy. The cultist, uh, the two cultists, you see them just ignite these two up in front. They just too close to the blast radius, and it seems like the heat might have been more intently focused on them, obliterates them. As you all settle and stop looking at this, or try to, you know, move your, your eyes away from that haze of light, the thing you're looking at is not Lenora anymore. The face is still hers. But it's... Everything else is different. Her body is a long and slender. Tall now. Too tall for a human. Where once there was armor and, you know, regalatry of a soldier, there is now just raw fire licking and covering her form and will look, 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 make a garment of some capacity. At her back are a pair of split red wings bursting from either side of her spine in a bloody shower. From her forehead, in a similar spray of blood, those two horns shoot up from her forehead, growing to about a foot or so in length, the blood raining down over her eyes. 
and on her face, for the first time any of you have seen one, is a twisted, sickening smile. You all watch as something that is not your friend takes complete control over her. Sergeant Ferricholi, as you are currently the closest to Lenora, with the exception of Kiernan, who's currently in a separate room, is there anything you would like to do as you see this happen? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, so kind of seeing this, trying to deal with the combatants in front of them as this explosion of fire and heat kind of happens, turning around and seeing this demon possess um, my uh, former friend and uh, teammate. Um, Marius will kind of uh, look to Remus, and if he can see anyone else, Kieran maybe, through the door, um, just kind of yell out, um, get everyone else to the ship, and he's going to charge in after uh, Lenore with his power sword, try and strike her down. You, Sergeant, draw your sword. And you start wrong song again, my fault. And you barrel your way towards Lenora, or the thing that was her, perhaps. You have rage, indignation, and perhaps, perhaps a bit of remorse in your look. This thing, however, stares back at you angry and sadistic. And as you reach it at the apex of your leap, or at, of your run, you leap high to try to meet it in the air. It comes up with fingers twisted long like nails and claws and jabs up at you. They dig into your side, piercing you, but you, don't, you ignore that pain. You invert your power sword in a reverse-handed grip, bring the pommel down as hard as you can. It drives directly into the right shoulder of this creature. She lets out a scream, unholy and ear-shattering. And with nothing else to do, beats those huge wings just once and shoots you both off towards the ceiling. You crash through the solid rock creep like it's nothing. And the last thing the rest of you see of Lenora or the commander is a streaking bright white ball of flame and majesty take itself off towards the upper atmosphere. I'm now going to take the time to remove both of your tokens. If there's so not much. much if there's not much else Kieran, it's your turn. You muted. Oh no! Oh wait, no, it's him. I'm good now. I'm good. Yeah, you were muted that whole time, Foxy. <laughs> I would have been so upset uh, at myself, actually. Uh, <laughs> just that whole. We were just sitting here painting, like I'm sure what he's describing is good. I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> I would have been so <laughs> upset. Oh my god. No. Uh, hopefully, about to make the person manning this turret upset. Uh, that's he is manning the turret, right? It's not automated. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna. He's way. manning it. It's fine. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna go maximal again, and uh, why don't we uh, throw in the special sauce for this one too? Special sauce. Um, yeah, I have this little little handy dandy ability called Weapon Tech, uh -oh. where I can, uh, for one round, uh, enhance the weapon, increase some firepower and deadliness, uh, and uh, increase this damage and penetration by amount equal to my intelligence bonus. That'd be another five damage and five pen on top of uh, whatever else I roll. Do the thing. Which means it's gonna hurt. Like, Probably. Like a kick to the. Ooh. Hmm. I don't even know. Uh. Oh. 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 Damage, please. One, one second here. Oh! Uh, 
so pen 11 oh. on that and damage 29? Yeah. Yeah, you put a hole right through this turret and the person manning it. It's not clean. You just, like, and as you're watching through the hole, you see the guy behind it clutch at his open stomach and fall over dead. And as you are all, well, those of you still left, licking your wounds and prepping yourselves, things fall quiet, and ahead of you are the stairs. As you approach, beginning to make your way, you can see ahead of you that hole in the ceiling where your two comrades peer straight through. The sky is this eerie bright red. Ziggy, you would know. It's almost time. Yeah, like he's, he sees that. He's just rushing everybody onto the ship. Now we have to go. Now. So, here's what we're going to do. First things first. I need to move y'all back off of this map overlay. We don't need the ship anymore. We're moving on from here. Lastly, I'm going to scene set for a bit. So, sound off real quick. Who's left? Lopata. Uh, Ziggy, 86 is still somehow functioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, does technically, though. I do have critical wounds. And Ben ends up ben as well. Patrolli. Patrolli as well. Remus. Patrolli, Remus, Celestia. I'm glad the old guys up to the front. Lopata, Patrolli, Remus, Ziggy, Benin, and Taman. Six soldiers. You move up the stairs, approaching the red white sky. Ahead of you is a large launch tube, a shaft that goes directly up towards the outer gates of the hive and breaks through into the upper atmosphere. A set series, excuse me, of green lights are currently going off around the side of it, indicating that it's operational and ready for takeoff at any point in time. Who's piloting? Uh, we all realize none of us took any. Yeah. I took off race boy ship. There you go. <laughs> Ziggy, you approach the well the, the operational bay where you enter into this shuttle. It's not a large shuttle, it's sizable enough to handle re-entry and you assume most of it's probably storage space and fuel and life support. Meaning this thing can probably fly on its own for a bit. In fact, you're almost certain that you probably don't need to get to another ship unless you're trying to leave system. If your only goal right now is get off the planet, this will do it. There is it's a bit of a complication though. As you are observing this bay, as you are readying your friends to leave this planet, you start taking inventory, checking the pilot throne, making sure everything's operational, all life support systems are ready, and all the seats are functional. All four of them. And only four. <clears throat> So, so make sure it's pilot plus three more. Mm -hmm. And last I checked, oh, no. there are six people here. Ah, well, that's the fucking rub of it, isn't it? Remus probably is the first to chime in of I was born here. That's my planet. I'll stay. Well, that makes you me... are a good so you will be remembered. You make sure of it. You got room for another one then? That big old memory bank of yours? Lopata, you are that 
Why? What do you mean, why? I almost gotta do it. Well, that's a figure that'd be gone like years ago, honestly. <laughs> oh, don't you try installing two ducks on yourself now, you. I'm gonna go and give him a big slap. And he's gonna heal him like a little like chunk on his chest as the magnet's been pinned onto the Macarian cross. You just make sure they get out of here. Understood. Plus, I think I was commanding officer. And as soon as uh, Ferracholi decided to take a impromptu uh, dive into the warp, so make it in order, why not? I will name an explosive after you. Oh, please do. That goes double for you, Feldus. At that point, Taman's gonna look bending up and down and say, if any of us is going on you're going to be one of us. Yeah. Well, if Lapata is staying and Remus is staying, that leaves four for the rest of us. Are you coming too, Doctor? the worst time for me to be bad at math. <laughs> um, I am currently as a player blanking on the problem right now. There are only, so there are six of you. Is there as well. If you're fine, if you're okay, you're good. You can go, it's fine. Okay. You can, you can, it's no problem with you going. If Kiernan you is staying, if Kiernan and Remus okay. staying, you, you can both go, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. I'll go. Uh, Patrolli comes over and silently puts a hand on Remus's shoulder. I actually play Patrolli. Oh, of course, please. I think uh, as the uh, kind of as if every if if that's all decided, everyone's going to get on the ship. Uh, uh, Vin is going to come up to uh, Kieran before they go, and they say, I "Really appreciate what you're doing. Go in to give him a hug." And he's going to push him into the ship and shut the door before it goes. What? Same. We're family. <laughs> There's none of room. He's not going. He's not going. Vin is, Vin is putting you in and leaving. That no, because he's not in the count. Yeah, he is. Six mm -hmm. people. Oh. It's you count. three and Benin. Yep. Those are the four. Ten and ben just about Vint. Go. Lapata from opening the door. Ziggy from the command chair is just going to lock it. Remus, jokingly a bit, points back and forth between the two of you, Taman and Kiernan, as the ship begins to power up, and like makes some very joking mock kissy faces as you, as you, as you, as you just, like start to feel the ship rumble. Just, <laughs> and before long, the ship powers on, rumbles to life with energy, and Ziggy, you get the confirmation, a light machine speak blurb and, bi and binary confirming, ready for takeoff. All right. Before I press the button, I'm going to take over, take that crystal wraith out, fire off one last message of secured exit strategy, and send off the uh, responder code for this missile so I'm not immediately shot down. You get two responses. The first isn't one you expect, because it's not keyed into the response frequency for this transponder. It's as if someone got their hands on it and oh, they shit. say this individual is registered traitor is registered traitorous primaris grade you are registered the same traitorous primaris grade that cuts out though as the signal almost realigns or is 
forcibly hijacked by something else. And the last thing you hear before it cuts out for good is a voice very familiar to you say, I'll find you. Ziggy nods. Puts the, uh, the card away. And launches. And you all watch as the planet you fought and bled on, lost comrades, and faced enemies on, rapidly begins to fade away beneath your peripheral vision as you shoot yourselves away into the atmosphere. In the distance, as you enter the upper stratosphere, you see a streaking, spectering, red-white comet. Let's tap back over there real quick, actually, to that comet. Sergeant Marius Ferraccioli, Ensign Lenora Valsir. Two of you have been through quite a fair bit, have you? And you stand here now, or fly here, both drastically changed by this campaign. So as you say, one with nine-inch demonic nails dug into their sides and bleeding out, the other with a power sword directly into their side, likely to soon return to the warp to be remade some other millennia. Is there anything the two of you, not the commander and the demon, but you two friends, is there anything you say before the end? I wish you could have made it. And her response is mostly actually one that gets some sort of actual emotion. Whereas for most of this, she hasn't sh really shown it, and it's painful. It's... If this being completely wrought in fire and altered could cry, it would be. And it's... She just says... I'm sorry. I didn't want it to end like this for any of you. That oh, was always going to end for me. The two of you breach the outer atmosphere. The heat too intense for even your new demonic form. And you both burn to a crisp. Not a trace of you left. One, to go with the Emperor. The other, back to the warp to serve new masters. The last scene we cut to is back at the top of the tower. Remus and Vin stand, watching a horizon, now blood orange and red. The air around them whines and heat. Everything begins to get brighter, harder to see. So, where do you think they'll go from here? You assume they won't just get shot down in orbit? Nah. Something about that group. They got a stink on them. Like, Destiny or something. Nah, I don't think this universe has seen the last of them. Me and you, though? Case closed, right? Yeah. Pretty much. What a way to go, though. It's pretty when you stop thinking about what it actually is. What? 
judgment? Nah. That's pretentious. It's just... Pragmatism, I guess. You and I, were just... Numbers on a sheet. Lines of vellum. This is all we're supposed to do. Comes down to it. At this point, the horizon line is now so bright white they almost can't even see each other. The heat so intense that in a mere microsecond or two, it'll flash fry them inch from inch. And the last thing Remus says before he dies on his home planet. As it all goes white, and everything begins to fade away. We're all just mayflies, right? And I think that's where I have to bring things to a close. So, no, please don't fucking clap for me. Shut up, stop, no, 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 stop it, stop it! <laughs> so, I'll make the preamble super short so we can get people out of here. Um, earlier this year, as I was, you know, running Seven Sons, I told myself I wanted to put on a second campaign. I wanted to do something else. Um, and I was scared because the idea of putting a campaign in the world of, like, Warhammer, a universe that I know so well, is horrifying. Especially considering that I have a lot of players who didn't know much or anything about the universe until this campaign happened. Um, but I'm blessed and honored to have had the most inclusive and kind, like, group of players who worked so well, not just with me, but with each other, and made sure that everyone's story was told and respected and heard. This is the first time I've ended a long-term campaign of mine, like, with an actual ending of a session ever in all my years of GMing. Um, so thank you all for allowing me to have that experience and for coming on this ride with me. Uh, let's go ahead, just one more time. Overlay order. Tell the people who you are, uh, where people can find you at, and I don't know, let's just say our goodbyes, I guess. So heck, whenever you're ready. All right. Hey guys, it's me, Sir Heckla. You know, uh, I played uh, Taman Feldus, the medic, along with her uh, technician, Benin, who somehow made it through most of this. Um, you can find me on all the social medias, at Sir Heckalot. Um, as for what I've got coming up this week, uh, I've got two things for TPK module week. I've Ooh. got Oathsworn, and I'll let Turk talk about that more because he's next. Um, but I also have our Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Um, Queen's Gambit, it's, it's a good time. We're in Waterdeep, and I think we're starting a heist, which is interesting. Um. So gonna be in a lot of things for October. So just keep your eyes peeled. I'm just stuff. kind of everywhere. Um, yeah, this was a really fun experience. I, you know, as someone, I'm one of the people that didn't know a lot going into this, and I still really don't know anything. If you couldn't tell, I don't really think I did the system very much justice. But I had fun along the way, I guess. To be um, fair, I don't think any of us did. It's fine. But. Uh, <laughs> um, down to uh, saying I don't know numbers at a cinematic moment, Listen, but it's fine. We'll, we'll get to that later. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just keep on keeping on. Turk, whenever you're ready, darling. All right, everybody, I am Turk or Turk Accented. I was your explosives expert uh, here in Lopata. I uh, did not expect to live today, but that's fine. Fucking. <laughs> Sometimes those things happen, you know? Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh... <laughs> you should have. All these explosives, I was ready. Anyway, um... For more from me, you have to only but wait two hours where I will be over on TPK with uh, the murder jam there. Uh, it's not a murder jam, it's a murder-involving jam. Uh, there'll be a whole lot of giggles which i need um 
Monday will not be something that's streamed, but, you know, promise that more Core Hearts is coming your way. Uh, and then, yeah, Tuesday is session one of Oath Sword, our Odyssey of the Dragon Lords campaign over on TPK. Uh, it should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, we're starting with the Boar Hunt, and uh, that's all I can really say at the moment. I'm really excited. A whole bunch of really great players, uh, and uh, if you've ever heard of Odyssey of the Dragon Lords, you know it's going to be really cool. Um, then this Saturday, we have a double header of Curse of Strahd Stark Echoes campaign over on TPK, and then an epilogue episode for Bard's Refrain. Uh, don't that should be as long one episode, but you never know. Uh, then next Tuesday, we have uh, Park Brewers, maybe? No? Uh, and then uh, that Wednesday is a kickoff of something I don't let Meg talk about a whole lot more, but. Lopato's story continues another life. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but of course, for more stuff, keep it locked here. Uh, thank you so much, Foxy. This was absolutely amazing. Uh, love you a whole bunch. And uh, thank you for letting me blow things up uh, with plasma and explosives. Uh, but I didn't die. It was pretty neat. That's not, never, never bad to not die. Never bad to not die, but I'm going to throw it over to Meg. Go ahead, Meg. You just rub it in on, on me and Meg here. <laughs> I got to imagine, imagine dying to explosives like a loser. That like, would have been that wouldn't have been nearly as cool if we had just died in the elevator. Okay. I agree. But... It's far cooler when we actually happen. Hello, everybody. I am Meg Mysteria. I got to play. Lenora Valsir, our psyker who inevitably did succumb to the fate I believe a lot of psychers end up succumbing to is mm -hmm. a demon. Demonic possession. Um, driven by her pain at actually losing the people that she cared about and didn't realize until it was too late. Mm -hmm. um, it has been a fucking blast doing this and i am so glad i got to be a part of it thank you foxy thank you everybody else who helped feed into this craziness Anytime. um as far as what's coming up i don't have anything else going this week but coming up the week after starting on the well tomorrow we have the core hearts recording so at session three will come out at some point um where you'll see me and turk or not really see, but you'll hear us. <laughs> uh, but after that, starting the 27th, we are kicking off a new campaign over on TPK with Stargate Phoenix. It's actually part one of two campaigns. I think the other, I think there's an antagonist in the room somewhere. Um, a bad but, guy. A bad guy. <laughs> but, <Indeed>. af <laughs> but after that, we're also kicking off I'm kicking off another new campaign. I am running Alien again for TPK. Uh, we're doing the Frontier War. So if you like more space action stuff, uh, come hang out for that. Turk is continuing his rampage as another Lapata with it's explosives. The it's the Lapata so multiverse, clearly. It's all, it, that's all yeah, it is. Exactly. <laughs> the Lapata cinematic multiverse. universe. <laughs> if there are Marines. And strange planets. There's a Lapata will be there. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a Lapata. But then it. a couple of days after that, we'll kick off October on the first with a one shot getting ready for a spooky season on TPK with Memento Mori, where I've got Heck in that one and Foxy. I've got two people here in that one. Where we'll be playing Enter the Survival Horror and Locomotive. We gonna so be that's dead. Gonna be it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. So cool. that's what I've got going on. So we'll just throw it back over to Purple. It's your turn. Yeah. Hello, oh, it's me, Purple. I played Mari Sparacholi for the last time. Um, yeah, uh, I yeah, I, I don't even know where to start. Um, it has been so fun being in this campaign, and I really, really appreciate Foxy for asking me to be in it, and everyone for being in it with me, too, making it a really fun story to tell together. So, uh, I don't I don't know if I need to go too much more into that, because other people have said stuff more eloquently that better fits it, so I've done what I can. 
Uh, thank you, everyone who came out and watched um, and supported the chat, too. Always appreciate reading everything that you type, and I read everything. Um, and I, I don't know. Uh, where will you see me next? Um, yeah, as uh, Meg mentioned, there may be some, uh, I don't know, I call them bad guys, but uh, there's, there's another group of Stargate called Stargate uh, Basilisk that, you know, focuses on um, being proactive against the Gould. And I will be a, I will be a member of that team, um, but that won't be kicking off for another month at this point. So that's the next thing I think I'm confirmed in. Um, other than that, a lot of things behind the scenes, but they'll get announced when they get announced. Yeah. Um, with that, I will uh, pass it on over to uh, Shot Point. All right. Yeah, I am Shockpoint Failure. You can find me here tomorrow with my Mondays of Madness stream. I believe if my schedule works out that I'll be playing uh, Darkest Dungeon. But yes, here I was reprising my role as Ziggurat86 for the last time in the foreseeable future. However, seeing that he survived, he may return one way or another. You never know. Yep. Uh, other than my usual streaming schedule, I'm not really confirmed in anything upcoming anytime soon that hasn't been announced. I'm not entirely sure about one thing, but yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm a bit on the time crunch, so I'm going to cut my rambling short there. Fair enough. And for the sake of time crunchiness, I'll also cut my ranting short. Uh, again, I mean, you all already thanked me, so I'll, I'll keep this short, but thank you all for the effort and energy you put into this. Like, this campaign wouldn't be what it is if you all hadn't put your hearts into it the way you did, it, you know? Uh, I couldn't have told this story without you all. So thank you all for coming along for this, for committing, for bringing you all every single week for... Yeah, and, like, even going beyond the five people here on screen with me, uh, if you work behind the scenes with me on this, if you help me organize stuff or, you know... Tate for giving me motivation, Michelle for scheduling stuff for me, Spree for stream managing, all of you in chat for chatting, Dan for handing my social media posts and everything every week. Just thank you to everyone in Neon Lights for making this work and for helping us bring our first campaign to a close. We're going to go and get out of here so we can get out of here. As far as raid targets go, uh, Crit Drinking's live. Let's go and say hi to them. Why not? I feel like we always mess up their, our, our raids to raid them. Let's go ahead and raid Crit Drinking, say hi to them. Tell them we're thinking about them. Show them some love. Thank you guys so very much for coming to hang out with us. We love you all so very, very much. We cannot, cannot wait to see you here on Neon Lights Roleplay again. Thank you for all your love and support. Have a great day. And for the last time, goodbye! Bye! Bye. Yeah, bro. Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, I need to head on on out the door. I will talk to you all yeah. later. You got it. Thank you so much. Bye. I love you a whole lot. Bye. 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 No, you're good. You're all good. No, I actually... All good, 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 good. I actually really do wonder if I can possibly... I just want to go to the Dark Fantasy setting. I'm going to try to start going around in a Black Fantasy setting. Like, at this point, I'm basically the only one that I've been doing. I've been doing you guys up and down. I've been doing you guys up and down. I've been doing you guys up I don't think the, uh, the chaos team is too strong in any of us, so I think, uh, I think one of you became a literal beast, so... Well, yes, but for the rest of us... I mean, that's, that's kind of like my favorite thing about chaos, that doesn't necessarily have to come from, like, about things that single You know, it's just a uh, problem with the campaign or something, like, uh, you want to do Vietnam, just have, like, a brawl hype now. Like, not us, but, like, not different squads trying to go through, you know. Not just malaria, it's just real heavy booby trap, don't go in there. It's just, just don't
trying to hide out, waiting for CD's contact to come pick us up, like... It just happens everywhere! <laughs> yeah. Just explosive. Why <laughs> this many explosives? Uh... Half our people are fucking... We just, like... Missed of, uh... Fucking... Our guy has to get people to fucking drugs. We can get people down and they just won't die. We're getting fucking spooks, Cloud. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh... Listen, I, for the fa for the record, I have no idea if the biology of a Tyranid would allow drugs to work on it. But I'm looking to deny you guys that moment. I had a lot of other options. Oh, yeah, I'm mean, sure. Well, eating. Well, so part, of, so part of it was like, I wanted to move over you guys forward. And I'm like, okay. friend a hug. <laughs> or plasma shot. Yeah, yeah I don't like it. Optimal, uh, maximal fucking plasma shots, dude. Uh, fuck about mighty shot and tinkered <laughs> ammo. Yeah, man. Very good. Uh. No, so originally, my thought, when I originally played the second album, I thought that four to six would be and I thought that That's what I thought too. Like that was what was going in my head. Like it would be so fucking heartfelt and appropriate if Kiernan and Taman just regardless ended up the same thing together. Oh yeah, no, I that's that's more I I feel like that. Nah, 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 nah. Go, go ask. Yeah, sorry. I, I as soon as as soon as I. As soon as I said, well, oh, Remus is from here, and he'll stand, as soon as that, I was just like, if, if you go back and watch, I start laughing, because I realized what the piece was going to be. <laughs> 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 and Fendi, so what's your The moment you said, oh, and I played it, and I'm like, oh, here comes a family joke, isn't it? <laughs> I fucking feel it. <laughs> just, I knew immediately, I'm like, he has to... But he, has, he has to put... But the other thing is he's not going to just say it. I'll, I'll stay. He's going to let someone think they're going to die and then at the last moment, you go. Nah, I, <laughs> I, I liked it. I thought that was fun. I also... I had Especially because yeah. Turk was having such a great moment there. I was like, I do not want to interrupt this and have him be like, no, I'm staying. You're going. I want this to all play out and he could have your emotional thing and he could live anyways and have it be a double emotion. <laughs> Space Marine that some it is despite like the basically chemical castration of Space Marine process still hits on people. Hey, I mean, to be fair, there is a concern as one of the great night novels wherein a space book like Horace of Iron, like a visitor from Memphis, who is a woman, is in the ship with the great night, who goes to shower, and she does comment as a shaving that they don't that they don't they don't move in so Space Marines, despite being like, you know, totally like so against cells, they, they're hung. I don't know why I know that, but there's your pleasant award every can for you. Space Marines are hung. My hair is low cut up. I mean, there are also like four times the size. <laughs> right? They're like 
10 feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, wait, well, they were. So they could even not be that well plugged, but just in comparison. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's how they, they select them. Yeah, I think yeah. someone, like, most of the that gave the nurse a lot of books for, like, even, like, a three or four sessions back in the day. Like, a lot of, like, books. Your average is starting as a They're two meters tall in armor, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is 2.3. Probably. It does well, scale. Yeah. Has... It does scale a little bit because space points are they're not uniform height. They're, they 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 do different. Mm. Oh wait, here's here's the actual most of the day one. Who was the, the one guy? That was that one little wolf. Who was like uh, the biggest luck for um. Uh, Master <laughs> Chief. Oh my god. <laughs> Emperor of mankind. <laughs> now all you need is the, the Emperor of Mankind, or the Master Chief and then the Emperor of Mankind talking about ordering the Lego set he wants me. <laughs> <laughs> that one wall rat. <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends is like a diehard imperial fist stand, so I, I regularly make more of like, we were playing a game one with my two my buddy Bill, and like, I was beating it pretty bad, but I am like, damn, dude, you can call you the hand. It gave like the biggest shady grin, and he was just like, fuck you, bro. Oh god, it's over. It's over. And it was cinematic as fuck. Yeah, I, I, did it. I, I'm amazed. I actually, I was, I, again, I was frantically worried about this all last week. So I'm very glad to But again, that's mostly on y'all. Like, by the end of the video. Yeah. Although, I will say, my plan is The hand. The hand, the hand. I know, I'm, I'm like, ah, where is he at? He's gotta go through the fucking He's in the bushes, you just can't see him because he's wearing um, camo. <laughs> oh no. Got a on. Gilly delivery. Mm. Alright, well that's one campaign closed out. Now I gotta figure out how to bring an end to Seven Sons in a few months. Oh god. <laughs> So much pizza. I might though. I might. Are you gonna are you ordering stuff or are you making stuff? I'm ordering stuff. I have no food in my house other than snacks. Get get Indian food. It's delicious. You just gotta be here. <laughs> I'm in Boston. I'm in Boston. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I'm basically like basically right in the city, so. Get some lobster. Some lobster. 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 I just got, I just had a whole bunch of lobster. lobster. And when I was up in Maine. Oh, Went to the lobster shack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, clock the clock. Oh, here we go. And, and we can pop off our, our side. I'm not sure how that works. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Oh. Well, I'm glad I'm glad it was still comparing to what Bobby Fighter was. Alright, well that's gonna be
I ooh, see if I ran a space marine army, if I had the time to actually sit down and paint, I think it would either have to be Lamenters or be a loyalist alpha. Yeah. I, I, I honestly have a people I can't just like someone who's like a like a Asteroids heading for the fortress monster. Chapter Master, the Munitor of accidentally sent us orcs instead of ammo. Chapter Master, not dead. Crashed by the piano. I'll do up all the all the infiltration. We haven't done anything yet. Let's let's just not had enough. Yeah. But all the Just the worst. My favorite. Army. I'm deployed. Where are your tanks? In space? O okay. Oh, don't worry. They're on their way. Well, they've taken your opinions now. That's true. Holy relic. It's important relic. It's a big secret. I love Tau I love the model models. I just don't care about the way Tau Lord is like the slightest. Yeah, I am not a deadline player, you know? Say you, 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 uh, don't care about politics. I know. 
can see what party can be. I'm gonna go though because I need to go get food. Not a bad idea. Move my body. Yeah. So this has been again, like I said, this was so much fucking fun. Thank you. Honestly, thank Very you. happy, yeah. And uh, yeah. I look forward to sharing table with you both. Talk to you guys uh, not, uh, tomorrow, if not sooner. You know, come around. Talk to you tomorrow. Well, I, I hope so. I'm always around. I mean, Uh, yeah. uh, go for it, man. Foxy. Yeah. 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 Y